maybe if I say words that aren't real words for the majority of the opening, the AI will get confused. We live. And they won't realize how messed up I am mm. if it's just beep beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop I keep playing Scatman in the morning for my kid. Every time I can do it, I'm gonna get it on. Hey, speaking of AI, did you, have you heard of this thing called a uh, Chat GP? Oh yeah, I can't believe you found what? out. What are you oh, doing man. on there? My uncle put me on there. I was like, what the? <laughs> I've only seen other people using it. I haven't actually typed any commands myself. You can tell it to do anything. Well, all the open AI. What? It's basically so, yeah, it's AI like, but it's like response form. So you could you could type in you like one of the craziest things I saw somebody write was write a haiku about drop shipping. And it wrote like this beautiful haiku that was just straight up uh, like uh, like about this topic. Like you can ask it like you can ask anything. Write yeah. me a ten page paper about the history of battle rap, and it's, they'll do it, it. And you will you might at times be able to tell that it's not a human being who wrote it, but for the most part, you're going to be pretty convinced. They had somebody say, um, "Make me a a verse like Drake," and they they were, like was saying something else, and they they'll make it. You could tell it anything. What's weird? What I don't I'll get about... I've been using that shit to pass tests. What I don't they, get about... They used to write a song, too. that, too. You used to write songs. The, the AI thing that really confused me is... How come... Y'all notice that, that it always get fingers and toes distorted? Does and it? it? Yeah. I don't oh, know. Not this new. This is different. This isn't, like, visual. No no, 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 no. I understand that. But just, like, AI in general... Are you talking it, about, like, virtual reality? Like, being no, in the metaverse? AI. I'm talking literally about, like... Alan Iverson? Yeah, I'm talking okay. about the answer. <laughs> the answer. They always look at like any AI drawing. They have like a real hard time. Oh, those like image generators. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Do they really though? That's interesting. You said the feet and, and, and fingers and toes. So, so you yeah. go straight for the toes. It's like if the toes ain't cracking, then I'm not interested. I like that about you. No, I'm I'm definitely not a foot fetish guy. You're not. No. Get they, out. That's not. They even thing. like um, feet not hot to me. Feet not hot. Two losers nah. over there. I'm a fuck <laughs> man. I don't dog. want your feet to be ugly, but I don't see feet and be like, damn, bitch, them feet so oh, I blew it. <laughs> okay. Like, damn, them feet just look so beautiful. Like, nah. no, I see them pretty white toes. It make me more attracted to you. Why oh, they gotta be white toes? I'm just saying. You're supposed to have white toes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Most people's feet turn like lighter than the rest of their body over time, Fact. right? Now we talking about the nail polish. The white way you nail polish. the way you said that, I could tell you really into he it. He a foot man for sure. You into it? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm halfway. He I'll, in there. I'll you put toes, you put toes in your mouth, nigga. I have plenty of times for sure. Oh yeah, no, you you yeah, sure. Like I mean, I like feet. before a P, that ain't cool. You I know like what I'm feet, but, but I'm like, not a P. I, I, I just had to say that. I, I like I genitals. Say, I'm not a P though. You feel me? Could you? Put you them toes this in your is how you know if you're a, if you're a foot guy. Could you put foot above genitals? No, never, never. never. Or even close. Never. I like feet, but I like feet in the same way I like hands or. No, the back hand, of your neck. Hands have a lot more. <laughs> hands have a lot more of an application in a sexual way, like feet. Right, they have a traditional like, usage. Right. Yeah. yeah. But have you ever looked at a girl feet and like her feet all messy? You were like, yo, uh, I could feel that because you feel me. A sign of feet hygiene is just a sign of how her house mm. gonna look when you walk up in that motherfucker. But I don't see the feet and just be like, damn. Baby feet so fire. I'm but the other fuck. end of the like, spectrum nah. is like, like a foot covered in, in athlete's foot. Facts. Like if a girl has athlete's foot, then I'm, I'm not into it. I would. I'm but with if that. it's on the other side where it's clean and it's like that's manicured. cool, but that's not doing no plus for. If me. she got on Team Jordans, I can't wait for. Her. Oh yeah, no, that's I right. feel she, that she probably got good box. We call them Mexican Jordans in the hood. Remember when you were roasting the uh, the Christian guy about yeah, his Jordans with his Jordan 19? That was this wild. Fool, this fool came through with the Jordan 57. He came in to tell the world about the Lord on the Destiny podcast. Hey, and by the way. Fake? Speaking of destiny, these fashion over jeans I'm rocking are my destiny. Mm. Tap in <laughs> with me and rock out at fashionova.com. Great place to get some holiday deals, even though the whole Christmas thing's over. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. You, this dude comes in here. He drives from San Diego on like eight hours notice. I have no idea Lush is going to do this. And Lush just, boom, starts <laughs> slamming homie over his Jordans. And he's all of a sudden like defending his Jordans and like going <laughs> into the history fake? of Jordans. No, no, no. He had the 14s, which are an acceptable. Well, the 14s are good. They're acceptable Jordans. But to me. But them is Jordans any, that Jordan didn't wear. Anything after, I would say the 18s. Whoa, is whoa. Like, you're way. That's too far. The 17s was booming that's with the suitcase. Uh, I ain't gonna Bro, lie. If Jordan didn't wear them, they kind of like not not really. The seventeens with the suitcase. Anything well, I was past, in middle school when they came out. They anything past the thirteen, I am, I can't. Really? Yeah, I'm smooth. I agree. Yeah. I like thirteens. Wow. And smooth. I'm like a eight and a half. We're talking. Wait, about, we're talking about we're talking the number about of the Jordan. numbers, not the um, shoe size. No, I'm <laughs> talking about my dig. Pause. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Who's man's? He goes, Man, we're talking yours? about Jordan's not the <laughs> shoe size. Like, I'm an eight and a half. No, nah, this, that, that's this big show. 13, cuz. Th- that's that's <laughs> white 80 right That's here. my boy. That's my twin. Oh, yeah. That's we got definitely big feet. White right. Are you, what size are you? 12. Oh. I'm a 12. I'm a 12. Yeah. F12. You a 12, too? Yeah. Man. Hey, we I, might be swanking, Pauls. The fact big you, feet, big socks. You, you guys should all get a, a spot together just so you can all wear the same shoes. Big feet, big But damn, oh one, one person scuffs up their shoes, everybody else in the house is going to be mad at them. It could be like a TikTok content house, but everybody just swaps shoes. Nigga not putting their feet in my shoes. Bro. Nah. Mm. That's out. But if a lot said, hey, baby, we rock them, I'd be like, you can have them, bro. Oh, God. Yeah. If a nigga come through and be like, damn, gang, them fly as fuck, could I put them on? God, you can go home with them. Because after you put your shoes in my feet, they're not my shoes. That's even me. like hats. Like once I give a hat to somebody, it's over because I'm like, some people here be sweating like crazy. Earphones too. Nah, I let a nigga use my earbuds. You can keep those. Well, the air. Oh yeah, it get deep in there. But you got something you like this. Yeah, give me but them back. Like three hundred dollars. You can keep them, nigga. I don't want your earwax. You could use my phone and Fact. give it right back to me. Yeah. You want to order Postmates on my phone? But that's nigga, fine. That. How about but say I we ordered did that? I do agree. It's disgusting putting this in my ear and then putting someone else's ear. Oh, that, that's that is kind of Every gross, time yeah. I seen that, I said I would never, never. put that in my ear. That's th- gross. Th- it looks very intimate. You know what's crazy, though, is if you were eating a burger or any kind of sandwich right now and you were like, Adam, you want a bite? I could totally take a bite of your sandwich. But if you're eating a salad... I would rather drink my own diarrhea than take a bite of another man's salad. What? What's the difference? Why? Because it's just like when you're like, there's too much. It's like going in your mouth, falling out your mouth. It's like a sandwich is a solid. A salad is a liquid. Nigga, your tongue I don't know, touches no, no. the burger. If, it's the same Salad thing. is if liquid. AD Quote me. That's a, a 22 of, mentality. Look, if AD offered me a piece of his burger, I'm going to be like, hey, bro, can you like turn it to the side that you didn't bite yet? <laughs> and then do and that. Then I'm going I'm to pull some off. I'm not even going to bite it. Honestly, I'm pull it off. salad and burger is both fine. What I'm not doing is sharing my soup. Or pasta. Oh, soup is crazy. Yeah, pasta also, nice. though. We're not doing because that. Because every time you ever ate a bowl of, of, of spaghetti or whatever, you're like slurping the noodles, the parts of the noodles well, are in says, your mouth, they're falling out. Hey, Adam, can I have some of your tomato bits? They don't do no shit like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they could. <laughs> Only people who really ask for your pasta is your bitch. Let's just be honest. Yeah, and that's all right. Facts. That's fine. No no, no um, pasta and no cereal. We're not doing that. Cereal is super weird. Cereal is like that. the whole bowl of cereal has been in my mouth. Yeah. Fact. <laughs> just, Pause. Pause. I can see Cryptic doing something with that. He just went Cryptic. crazy. Clip it. Clip it. He just went nuts. Slurped the fuck oh. out that shit. Pause. All right. This nigga just turned into the vacuum from Elm from from from, from Teletubbies, nigga. Mm. What the Gluck Gluck. The Gluck Gluck no, 3000 is part of the 22 mentality. <laughs> nigga just so just you know. Turned into the Teletubbies vacuum. Hey, can we do a review of the Christmas party? I had a great time. It was great. I it loved it. Fire. I had a fire regift. Yeah, like you. The they did. Was crazy. Phil did uh, suspect wrong. He had me fucked up. But you're still the- waiting. Huh? Hey, look, 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 look. Still it's waiting. crazy though, right? On God, and I hope Phil don't not like me for this. After, <laughs> but nah, on God, right? Like you know when somebody uh, 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 put you through like a minor discrepancy and then like they real cool about it. Nigga told me at least my paycheck cleared. Damn, nigga, I just, <laughs> I just want my gift. My paycheck still clear. What does clear? that have to Wait, do with what anything? Is that? You saying that yours didn't clear? <laughs> what the fuck that got to do with me? I said, damn, you just fucking up today. Oh, my paycheck still clear. <laughs> damn, bro, I, I didn't even mean it like that. That's nigga. like, oh, well, my blood pressure's fine. We it's like to, something else in my life is yeah, totally the, fine. We but we no, we're talking about you screwing up Secret Santa. And I'm not saying there's, it's not that serious. Let's be real. It's not. But he was the only one that didn't get nothing. You got to be apologetic if you are going to not he come through. Not and I heard you. I heard him saying to his pops that this was his first ever Christmas party, which a, a wow, lot of us, facts. I mean, I've, I've had like a part of no jobs like and stuff. But I really, when I think about it, besides Christmas parties here, Wait, this is I don't know two. if I ever had one before. This is the second one. For you. Oh, you, you had one before? The last one. Yeah, no, that was the first. Yeah, that was last year. And before one. that, like I had jobs and stuff, but I don't think we ever had a Christmas party. I didn't have a job that was like serious enough for that. Not not catered I've been by to some Christmas not, parties. Not catered yeah, by too. like my, my parents. Well, my not like yeah, like my mama used to work in the office, right? And, and I've been to some of her Christmas party as a kid, but I ain't never worked somewhere and been in no shit like that, bro. That was catered by Booker to Beppo. It had the the chocolate fountain. Like come inspired. on, bro. But you gotta be fair. Even if you like, look, I'm and I'm and I'm gonna tell you all this. I got the gifts mixed up. You feel me? <laughs> Oh Dick, yeah, you mean? and that's my homies. I, I owe, I owe Dick bosses. Juice. No, because I, I thought I had Kelvin, and then T. Rail said he wanted to swap with me because Kelvin had did his back on Fig logo. He looked out for him, so he wanted to do something real nice for him. So I, my dumb ass ain't paying attention. I'm thinking I still got Kelvin, right. and I'm always like, oh yeah, the homie. He be asking me about the juice and shit like that. So I'm, I'm gonna get him some juice and give him a little party pack. You feel me? 
And then the homie balls up. I'm like, damn it. He doesn't drink, smoke, or fuck. He's and really, I gave him really everything. To, his life is I, crazy. I gave him everything to do that. Walking around abstinent is crazy. I, I admire the amount of confidence that that must take. Fact. Because if I had been on the abstinent way my whole life, oh my god, I probably would have been like freaking well, Mark so Zuckerberg. I would have been, no I would have been so had, different, okay. bro, if I had not been spending so much time focused on that. Bro, he's like a righteous punk rocker from the early two thousands. Well, he, well, he said he gets the mouth, and he oh. also said that he has basically like. That, I guess a problem, so that's why he don't want pussy uh, to run so his mind. Hey, 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 but that's, oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He would basically be missing all no jumper dates and just that's fucking kinda, some bitch in his apartment. But basically, be honest though, uh, suppressing himself. That's kind of gangster. All he do is get his dick sucked. He's like, nah, bitch, we can't fuck, but you could suck. <laughs> you got that's like lush being that. sober too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got to respect it because you've been through it and you came out the other side. But Boston Nova been through it. Hey, if, if you get Boston Nova's experience, wait, we left it out though. Is he giving the lick in return? No, he's not. He's just, getting, Lord so. Banks. He's just so getting top. He's just getting top. I think no he just licky in return. He's a joint. Nigga. I think he's just getting. Top. He's a gangster. All right. Lloyd Banks. I only, I only go ass. down head first in the swimming pool. You feel me? <laughs> I don't. I'm even pussy whenever I can, but. That's like all the the, the Chirac drill rappers back in the day. They're they're like all 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 I want is top. All the bars are about getting top back. They're not fucking. But picture me. Liar. I'm listening to that. I'm like 26 or something, 27. And I'm listening to these 16-year-olds telling me how great it is to just get head and not fuck. I'm like, what hey, are you talking about? You're, 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 you're not using the whole buffalo, dog. You got to get in there. I ain't going to lie. It has. It, I ain't going to lie. Has Hold on. Me and AD it, might be able to no, attest it, it. It feels it, like mac and cheese. It's with beautiful. With full face fuck. Like full face fuck is better than pussy. I'm gonna keep it. But a you buck. can do both. You I ain't gonna go say. Forth, I ain't gonna say dog. it's better. I ain't but, lie. but sometimes I do prefer. I will prefer. I, 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 I for sure prefer. I will prefer. Listen, some sometimes throat. is one if thing. She don't got no uh, no gag reflex, or if her shit's suppressed, and you could just fuck her face. Oh God, I don't want no. No, cat. no, head's great. I don't, don't want get no wrong. cat. But why would you not want to use the other end? Just face fuck and just nothing. You gotta use the other end too. What? I didn't have to play with the cat. Nothing. I just got the wood. It's all good. You can wash your hands after she got soap in the bathroom. I have a theory though about the 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 Chiracians and why they do that. Them motherfuckers are all on hella pills. They can't even fuck like that. They're just like, I'm just off three flats right now. I'm I just need some. Dope. I'm not gonna lie, off Adderall and shit like that. I can't fuck. Like I, I don't know what it is. But this is old school. Adderall, right? Big yeah. don't get hard off. I mean Adderall. that's normal. That's what I was supposed to work. Same shit with coke. Same whatever. It all thins your blood. Makes it way harder. I didn't harder know again. that. Yeah, but but that's like. I'm just so used to hearing like younger generations of dudes tell me that, oh, just get top is great. It's like, bro, just admit to me that your stroke is terrible, Facts. that you can't stay hard, and that you are trash at but fucking. Look, look, keep it it takes know. years of hard work to develop if your you game. Trying to, if you're trying to like stroke game, definitely takes wage takes war and on your enemies, bitch. I'd rather get the top just from get her. The throat. Then fuck her, cause I'm like yo bitch sucked my No, dick. if you don't trust her, hey. for sure top is a good route. I ain't gonna lie. If you want some boyfriend girlfriend shit, and don't got a nigga talking about he got top from your bitch. That's you worse than him. Won. That's hey, worse he won, than him yeah. smacking your bitch. Fact. That's City worse. Boys up. She didn't get nothing from that. City she boys didn't up get point. no pleasure, mm. nothing. She just got nutted it, all it, up it, in her mouth. Yeah, and I, sent I, her. I bust on your bitch face. Hey, hey, hey my girl fucked another dude though. The thing that's gonna be torturing me in my dreams is the top. Yes, Facts. of course. Man. Especially if you saying. know your bitch got crazy throw game. You just thinking like, damn, did she hit him with You gave tools? that to another man. <laughs> Except for... Hey, that's why... It, your hey, bitch got to look up. If, 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 I, if I... That's why I live by this. Here's the thing. If I, if I fucked your bitch at a certain point when I'm hitting it, my dick's <laughs> finna slip out. And she's gonna grab my dick and put it back in. That sh <laughs> that should torture you. I ain't gonna lie. That should torture you. Look, if no, you I think the head is, is worse. That's bad. That's bad, that's to bad too. Bag. But if she put it back in, that means wow. that's bad, right? She put it back in. And that's why you just get like me. If she's sliming up the fucking nigga, you sliming up to bring the bag home. No cap. <laughs> She fucking niggas. Hey, bitch, bring the bag. <laughs> That's the doing? only way to somewhat redeem it. But That's even all then, I'm saying she bring the bag back, bitch. You can get hit by whatever. No if, cat. No, so I ain't living by that. How is the pussy after I'm she's been working the track for 12 hours straight? Shit. Hey, how's it feel after look, that? I, look, look. <laughs> damn, he just hit you, me with a cold. You hitting? Your, you getting high on your own supply? <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Who else I'm supposed to fuck? Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. Now, maybe, well, somebody who, though, right? maybe somebody who maybe somebody who didn't just risk genital herpes 13 times on the block. Nah, you gotta look. But then I ain't gonna. <laughs> no, no, that's thing, right? That's why you gotta put a bitch through like a. Let's say like a, a trial period. A, thank you. I, I wanted somebody else to say it, so I didn't have to. You feel me? Something like that. Give them like Stop three. Stop helping. You feel me? No, no. Yeah, trial period. Man, you know peach. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if you just out here donkey dicky bitches who just, just 
frivolous who just came up in your camp and you just donkey dick the bitch. You don't even know where she came from, nothing. You don't know what's going on, no cap. Uh, after long nights of the track, you got to trust that bitch. It's not as, wrap your shit up. It's not as glamorous as it sounds. It's oh, not. Guys. No, like, yeah, I, I figured that. It's not as I, go, I never though. thought it sounded glamorous. I'd <laughs> rather do that than rather fuck a bitch who ain't doing nothing for me. Uh, the only day. good thing about the pimp game, as far as I can tell, is the really decorative cups. Like as far as I can tell, that's kind of shout to Sydney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sydney yeah. got sharp the best cup. She smashed it. Lots of fire. lots of theories about what Sharp and uh, Sydney might have going on in the Reddit. Oh that yeah, no, fire. yeah. That's <laughs> is that a is that a double choose, S? A choosing fee is now owed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> wait, because she was out of Don't tell Josh because he going. You know, where, where, do you <laughs> think she, police? Do you here? think she went on Google and typed in custom pimp cup? For sure. Yeah. yeah. She it's probably seen his soft white underbelly shit, and she probably already had it made. Or she went to like an old Lil John video. So this looks good. It mm. says sharp on it. It's fire. That shit fire. Can we just acknowledge that I, I got given a Lapras and then I regifted it? I, I'm still reeling from this. I think it was yeah. like the best thing I ever did. Yeah, here's $100. And the $100 is like make it a little bit better. I ain't get shit. Nobody gave me nothing. Nigga. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I see you still that. waiting. I see, what the fuck? Hey, Phil, you know what? Phil's a vengeful god. He's gonna not give you his gift now because you keep saying this. He is he a vengeful really god. He would really do that, yeah. This is he gonna see facts. this. It's not I coming. felt it. As soon as the nigga said, my paycheck's still clear, I was like, oh. Do you know he what they came at me like? <laughs> like? I'm just out. Like, I'll fuck with you, Phil. You're gonna have to hit me with that one. Do you know what paycheck's still clear? I hope should have bought something, though. What is the gift? Do you know what it I is? I have no clue. Because he Absolutely showed you the no shipping clue. information. He did, but that could have been a gift for his cat. We don't fucking know what the fuck that shit was for. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Phil, though. R.P. Tony. <laughs> we don't know what the fuck that was We for. don't know what the fuck that tracking number. Nigga, I could have nah, drawn. Yo, I think Phil is mad at all of us, too, because I fucking DM'd him something funny earlier, and he didn't respond to me and left me on scene. I didn't know that he was one of those, like, where you can't really joke with him. Like, I was kind of joking because he had lost the uh, Phil pictures. Phil will fight you. To me. Yeah, he's a serious guy. He will I fight didn't you. didn't know that. I just thought it was, like, cool, you feel me? So he lost the pictures to an interview that we did, and he didn't give me no gift. I'm like, damn, Phil, you 2-0 this week. Wow. Well, my paycheck's still cleared. <laughs> <laughs> damn, my nigga. It wasn't even like that. That wasn't a shot. I was just trying to make light banter with you because we don't talk. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to make small Man, talk. leave that nigga low. <laughs> I, clearly, he almost punched me in my shit, nigga. I've he, seen take your, he take your pictures. He's going to probably take it today. I've seen Phil shoot people mm -hmm. in the office glares that basically suggest that he's about to a little kelpie them real quick if they don't shut Did the fuck up. Did y'all see him with the blackout girl? in here? Nah. Bro, he was mm. finna punch her. <laughs> he was finna punch they her. They drank his lean? She, no. She, <laughs> she went over there. Look, she was asking. And who was she asking for merch? I think it was Josh or Adam. Like, where's the merch? And, and they just <laughs> pointed him. Yo, his impersonations are pretty good. Yeah, he that pointed her towards, uh, uh, towards Phil with all of them. Uh, it, it, I think it was you. He was like, I don't know. They handled the merch. So you just sick the bitches right on field. They drunk asses go over there. Where's the merch? Can I have one of these shirts? <laughs> and loud as fuck. And I could just see it all on Phil's face. Like he was, I, I'm reading his lips over there and look like he turned like, can you like go back over there? Like it was crazy. He, he handled like it he was, well. Like, he did. I thought he, he was But he's very blunt. So he will be like, no, he, he said ain't, it. He ain't with the bullshit. I don't know what he said, but he said it. And she came and sat her ass back down. But honestly, to me, the best part of the Secret Santa, kind of like you re-gifting um, the Pokemon, just like the giving aspect of it. Like I was mm. hella juiced, like find like, okay, what does T-Rail need? He need the Air Forces. He like McDonald's. Let me put the McDonald's card in dope. there. Like, you feel me? I'm going to like get something that I know he fuck with. And that actually like brought us closer. But I got the person in the office that I probably know the least about. Yeah. And I also found out the hard way that the stores at the mall don't sell Hurley anymore. I so. wish I got rich ass AD. I, I literally... <laughs> Wait, it wasn't me. <laughs> I, know, I, I wish. I wish I got oh, I would have bought AD. something nice. Nigga ain't give me shit. You could have got some dick juice. <laughs> oh, hey, I mean, all, that, all, that goes for the supply, right? All he give me was a perk 10. That's a business expense for you, I mean, hey. Facts. All he would have to give me was a perk 10, nigga. Uh, that is the dick That blue chew come in handy. If AD yeah. came in with a bottle of fucking it. perks for suspect for That'd Secret Santa, I would have actually passed out. If anybody gives me perks for gifts, that's on God. You are forever in my face. Thank God we finally have a perk head on the staff. nigga give me some lean and some perks on God. You are forever. I will love you, nigga. We, we need to put perks in the vending machine. Boy, I'm, yeah, I'm I'll be here at 10 a.m. sharp. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Wait, I'll line up. Hey, hey, he, 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 he lined up to get in. What? You and a bunch of other people. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm here 9 a.m. sharp. Motherfucker, nigga. steal that whole vending machine. I don't have to be on schedule. I'm bunch of people in cough syrup merch just standing in line outside no, the office. Cap, don't ever put some walk inside the vending machine. No, fentanyl. I was thinking about that when we were talking about Taleb Kuali. That'd be fine. How we got lean for our last name? Hmm. 
I mean, that's quality, yeah. but it's pretty close. If I was a rapper, I'd probably be able to bridge that gap. I, you, I like hey, that. you just might have gave somebody quality. an idea. Somebody might take that and put Quali. I think. Nah, Why don't you do it? That's fire. All the rappers that know that's about fire. Talib Quali don't know about Lean. That's you're right. We you're just right. did a four-hour interview with his dad. That might be the longest interview. I don't know if it's the longest interview, but it's you really close. Four hour and it's like really crazy close. because I didn't see Adam struggle for 45 minutes. Pause. That nigga want to go home. <laughs> Pause. That nigga want to go home after an hour. Like, he be over that shit. Like, that nigga was engaged. He didn't pull out his phone. Nothing. No, man. that was, was really dope. Was every, every interview was has, like, a, a oh, yeah, every interview has, like, a good natural length. And, you know, a lot of people... We're four fresh hours, up out though, the you projects. Gotta, you, you gotta have a good story for four yeah, hours. Bro. His shit was fine. I feel like I, I could do an hour I with some shit. most That's people. My dad. But a lot of like young rappers are probably better off doing 30, 40 minutes, right? You're right. With him, four hours was, we, we, we had still, to stop it. We didn't scratch the surface. Like, it's still so much that a nigga need to do. Like, nah, that was that was a light interview. It was crazy. Well, like, he, he's super talkative. Plus, like, obviously, there's all the dynamics to play off of with. It being his, his father. His and he's good at and talking. Then, it's like a me, but 20 years later. And then, he's like, amazing on camera, me? It's yes. literally me in 20 years. And like, the, he, he he can hold a conversation like me, but he has 30 years more of my knowledge. And you then me, me knowing his whole history, so it's like... It was fire. I learned some shit. It was, it yeah. was cold. Yeah, I ain't learned shit about my dad when he came here. <laughs> <laughs> you learned about multi-level marketing. <laughs> I learned a hell of shit. No cap. Your dad be with the pyramid schemes. And then he, I think, he, got, he got me. Allegedly. I think Adam got to understand me more. He he seen him. He was like, okay, I get why you're exactly how you are. <laughs> Your dad's tight. I like him. He reminds me of myself. Fire. Not really in many like literal ways, but just in the fact that I like him. That's just, right. Just because you guys are both from the streets, gang, gang, <laughs> yeah. gang banging. Been <laughs> shot in the last couple of years. <laughs> Thugged out. Got a rapper son. Yeah. Funny Just as like fuck. me. No, nah, that shit was fire. We got Who's your rapper two. son? Uh, mm, Lozan. That's a good question. Yuri. If I had to have a rapper son. Dude, I just saw a clip of Yuri hitting a dad no, in, the, in the your restaurant. Son? MGK. No, no, no. Your son is Lil Cedo for sure. <laughs> MGK, Lil your Cito. son. No, why Lil Cedo hit Cito me? would be your son. Lil Cedo hit Cito me being like, why, 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 why house phone? This, like, y'all kicked house phone off the pod or whatever. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're watching an old episode of the podcast. It was probably that little time period. Yeah. But also, like. I mean, because he never. You, you said that phone? he wasn't here no more than he. And then he he never wiggled, was. He wiggled his ass back in. I told him, I said, nigga, you better be there. Well, he, caught, he didn't even tell us that he was sick. Josh had to tell me like five minutes ago, and I was like, hey, almighty, you want to do it? Yeah. Is he good, though? I don't know. Mm. He'll be all right. He didn't tell me. Man, hopefully Josh House Garib is all right, man. House Garib. Hey, the holiday season is upon us, and my bookie is in the giving spirit with 12 straight days of giveaways from odds boosts to casino chips to straight up locks. My bookie's 12 days of giveaways is a can't miss promotion. Starting December 21st and ending on January 1st, you can bring in the new year right with giveaways that can help you fill your stocking with cash this season. Sign up at my bookie and use promo code no jumper one word on your first deposit to redeem a bonus of up to $200. Again, that's promo code no jumper to claim a brand new deposit bonus designed for betters looking to cash in and cash out quick. Experience sports in a whole new light and make this season a winning one. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Let the record show that it still says bet anything without an eye. My Josh, bookie. never change it. There's no eye in anything. I want to see Josh just plank. Plunk that cursor down and just hit that eye. Josh, did you shave your beard because Lesh got one? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Wow. He's like, this nigga not finna be my evil twin in this bitch. This is not working. Spoiler. <laughs> Already happened. <laughs> Josh is definitely the evil one. That nigga. Hey, he's like the one who you think is really nice, but he's really the evil one. Josh, I, you ever I haven't seen evil Josh yet. You ever go commit any crimes I or have. anything? Hmm. Like, could you see Josh like... Just like going behind an abandoned building and like smashing a TV or something. I don't think that, but I think if I like, can see Josh trespassing, arson. Trespassing. I can see you trespassing. I think he like could be skateboard or something. Accessory. But like if he uh, seen some bullshit, property, he wouldn't tell. I'll never tell. I don't think he would tell on. I can on see Josh loitering. But Josh's facial hair grows back hella quick. It's all, he's already got the Homer Simpson five o'clock shadow crack in. Like, have you thought about allowing your beard to? Descend down onto your neck more, or does it have to be like a hard cut off? Nigga, right that there? shit itches so bad. Yours is fake. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that shit. I, I can't grow a beard, bro. My shit patches. Why would I? Why would I? But want I'm it 25. On my neck? I'm just curious. Whenever I have a beard, I don't really like. 
I, do I? I don't know. Honestly, even though you're 25, I don't think it's gonna get any different than that. I don't think so. Some people shit don't grow like that. Yeah, my shit is not. I, I, I get real patchy and start looking like a homeless man. Yeah, that shit not it. I you look like you shit. probably like stab people. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what? I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. It's just the, the facial hair just gives me like you a stabber shaker? vibes. Not he's a I, poker. I ain't gonna lie. The only time I did some shit like that was like juvenile hall. It's cause like I had no choice. Like nigga, the staff told me like, Lush, they finna get you when you Lush come out this like shit. Lush looks like he stabbed somebody. So I got ready. Nigga took the pencil on the side of the shit, stuck a nigga real quick. So the beard has to stop major. there. It can't. It can't go down. And uh, is this the longest it's gonna go? I don't really want it to get like too much. This shit can go down. Thing. You can see it. It can, it could in theory, but I don't know. I don't want it to get too crazy. I kind of like where it's at right you now. You don't want to be like a freeway it? beard. No, type? fuck all that. That's no. disgusting. For hmm. me, it wouldn't look right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're a white dude and let your beard grow down to like here, I, I don't you like have, it. You have then to go to Santa beard Claus conventions. Racist at that point. You got to go to beard conventions. You yeah. got to you you work for Black Rifle beard, Coffee. If you got a thick ass beard, I would immediately assume you a white supremacist. When I met him, he was bald. I ain't gonna lie. With the him. tattoos, you used to look like shit. a straight he used to white look like, Yeah. Now you look like somebody's white uncle who might have been at bars getting tattoos and I, shit. That, I think that was like my main appeal in the beginning. It's like, oh, he's a hip hop podcaster who looks like, like a Nazi. Facts. You Isn't that fun? Like what a cool head. hook. You was pushing it. Somebody def- called us, uh, <laughs> one of us, Thick Fuentes today. I don't know which one it was. Thick Fuentes. I don't know Pauls. which one it was. Nigga Paul. Uh, yeah. Thick but Fuentes. A Thick Fuentes would just be like a, a, a chubby guy who looked like Nick but Fuentes. But it was, go ahead, John. It was Duno's homie icon. Okay, it was icon. <laughs> it wasn't Okay. Because it was icon, Duno, and then me. And Where wait, have I seen his face before? I've seen him. Icon, like, he looks really familiar. Here. Videos and shit, too. He's been, mm. he been here for a lot of shit, too. Uh, Icon hella cool. He mm-hmm. looks familiar when I've seen him. I'm like, I've seen him somewhere. That, his his lady is the L.A. Tooth Fairy. They did Joe Teeth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. really? Yeah. Okay. And he's like a prominent video director in L.A. Mm-hmm. He's done a lot of dope videos. And yeah. the, the woman that you... Yeah, let's talk about that. So you introduced me to a woman, and you say, yeah, she cleans teeth. She's the L.A. Tooth Fairy. Starts cleaning my teeth. Okay, cool. Or, or she uh, whitened my teeth, actually, which I, I kind of forgot that I did it already, but I'm assuming that it worked. But then I follow her, and so that now I'm seeing her comments pop up when she comments on people's shit. And so I see Jenny69 drops a new photo. Jenny69, that's a homegirl. And I just see her in the comments just straight up banging on her. And so I was like, okay, Lush, Look, Lush got me in some shit. I'll, I'll tell you this right now. I'm working with the ops on dentistry. I'll tell you this. <laughs> you do not want smoke with that woman. Jenny 6 9 or the other one? No, LA Tooth Fairy. I don't want to smoke with either of them. Yeah, no, shout, dude, I love me some Jenny 6 9 What if Jenny 6 9 won't clean I, my teeth now? I would risk it all for Jenny 6 9 trust me. But um, with that being said, I'm, uh, yeah, nah. LA Tooth Fairy's got a crazy story. Yeah, you, but you want to know what it was too? Is that Jenny posted a photo and wrote like something like, "Look how hood I am," or "I'm so hood," and she just responded, "You ain't hood." Let speaking me, speaking of the well, fairy, uh, when they pay us more, you gonna get some veneers? Yeah, he said, "When they pay us more, <laughs> it's not, it's like <laughs> like the passage of time will pay you more." <laughs> hey, let's press the issue live. You gotta drop that dime in there yeah. real quick. It's hey, like, when they give us some more money, you gonna get some veneers? It's so it's already in the works. He gonna be like, "Holla, you can say holla, Josh." It's all, <laughs> I thought it's, you had the tooth plug, AD. It, huh? I thought you had the tooth plug. Yeah, I do, man. No, it's just the beard plug. The beard plug. Nah, um, hey, D the plug in general. Yes, uh, we'll see. If, we'll see if we can start a bidding war because I already have a, a dentist that's willing to, you feel me, show some love. For, All right, you need veneers. For I need a new hairline. For some I need a new We gonna go together then. Let's go. I need Rush, a new hairline. T Rush should look great. It you should crawl him back, nigga. A little bit. My shit thinning. Are right you watching here. it creep up a little bit? See, oh, I you feel already like got that's normal, but. Once. Everybody say my shit normal, but I want my shit. I want my shit down here. <laughs> it's because our shit get thin. I want my right shit here. to connect to my eyebrows. You feel me? I feel like your shit looks normal, but also, you know, you know what your head has looked like since you were young. So it's like it, it could have been. But I, I got baby I pictures. 17, my shit, my shit looks was fucked straight. up then. Really? Like push yeah. back? Yeah. Yeah. T Rail shit does look really good. My, my shit was perfect until like eighteen. Then it just started fading. Nigga, mom just try to cut our hair. Scar my brother. It's kind of it's kind of good the way things worked out as far as for me. Like I started coming on the pod, didn't have any of my gear. You feel me? Had a clean shaven face, triple chin exposed, 
fucked up teeth, and then gradually things were kind of slowly over time. Getting, getting back in place. So, so Facts, I, me even, too. Even, I came up here, no jewelry, couple of fits, because I had to get into some little shit, you know what <laughs> I'm saying? You feel me? Then they come up here, motherfucking flyer day, you see Lush Garb, you know what I'm saying? Then, Teeth <laughs> clean, you feel me? Earrings busting and shit, beard garbing, you see it, nigga. Beard garbing. <laughs> and the cold, the cold thing is, even though I'm not going to be, I'm just going to be a normal human being, because I started so low. You're no longer a, gonna, a human being once you get the teeth. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. over. You, you, you a guy out here. Oh, know. you got some? Yeah. Mm. My teeth kind of cool already, but my hairline, I got to read. No, once yeah, you get your the teeth, teeth are normal. My teeth are straight. But now it's like if you don't have perfect fucking veneers, then everybody like kind of is looking right. at you like your teeth are a little weird. People be asking like, me sometimes if I, I have veneers. I have nice normal teeth, and I still kind of look at them like, well, I don't have veneers. I mean, the, the thing is, women... If they, I had teeth they, like yours, I wouldn't... No oh, hell no. I'm like, women facts. I'm not getting up. Women say they like that. It's every time they meet, oh, you have such a nice smile. That's the first thing they say. They to love me. nice teeth. Nice teeth, breath. Look, I think females look at shoes, teeth, and breath, and how you smell. Smell. Hey, teeth. hey, your nails. Too. Manicure too. Yeah. Can't no smell cat. me through Instagram, baby. Get you some clear coat, nigga. Smell me Go through get the you podcast. Go to a petty in the clear. The coat. clear coat is cool, but I just get to shine a buffer. I ain't gonna you lie. You feel me? I be doing both sometimes. Because a clear coat be clear chipping coat. sometimes. You're right. That's but that's why you gotta go like every week or two. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's why I'm trying to stop biting my nails. You gotta I'm, get I'm getting good, but they're, they're still. See, I shine. Up. I shine and buffer these get motherfuckers. Them, get your cuticles right. I yeah. for sure go get 100%. my shit done. Cuticles. Get them cuticles right. You ain't never been in the nail shop and got a mani and a pedi? No, I did. Something happened. Yeah. I haven't been back. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Some neck in the back? No, no, no. Wow, wow. No, he got some. He got some head. He got some head. Yeah. He didn't get any neck. He got some head. Hey, I, did actually, you, I, did, I didn't actually get hurt in that just for a record. Hey, dude, but did you go did, for a while? Did you go back? It was like, I'm going back to the same. I never went back. <laughs> I don't even know if I ever went to a, I don't think I ever got a manicure again. After. Ever since then. I'm trying to get somebody who comes to me the same with the barber. I feel that. If anybody knows any uh, little Asian ladies who, who do house calls, let me know. That's fire. Or I other might. ethnicities. I think I might. Or other ethnicities. I might know some Cambodians who will pull up to your shit. Ooh, I love a Cambodian. I ain't even going to lie. That's hard. I think I do. There was a couple Cambodians that lived in my neighborhood when I was growing up, and it was like everybody was, it was almost all white, and then there was like a couple black kids, and then there was these Cambodians. I'm like, so you could just be a totally different Matter of fact, my cousin got you. <laughs> Royal oh. Diva Spa. Yeah, all right, for sure. Because uh, they got the adults in line now. She going to give me the French tip and everything? No, shout out to my cousin, though, because he got this, uh, it was a dope idea. So they do, they have a party bus. And they do mani pedis mm -hmm. for the uh, for for the for the kids, I mean for the little girls. So like they would do like community events and stuff like that. Then they upgraded. Now we got a bus for, for uh, adults now too. You better that should be, Could that be a weekly thing at the office, Loki? Yeah, you can bring the shit. That'd be dope. Everybody gets a manicure. Put it yeah. on the office cart. I we love it. Yeah, no health mm -hmm. insurance, but everybody gets their nails done. That's right. <laughs> no, but if you have like your daughter, right your daughter, you in L.A. She. Birthday you better take party, all the 1942 off the party bus yeah, if can, Parker's can, having a birthday. You there. can't have that. No. no, but if Parker has a birthday, they'll pull up. You feel me? They'll pamper all the, you know, pamper all the kids. They'll dress them up, have a little fashion show for everybody. It's just dope. Like, That's fine. A mm -hmm. lot of NBA people, they, they get my cousin all the time and shit, too. I, uh, I, went to a, fuck, I went to a place on Ventura the other day called Candyland. Little kid hangout. Yeah. I think Fire. I know what I'm talking about. It's lit. Mm -hmm. There was like another like tattoo couple in there that I like felt the vibe from. It's one in the mall that we went to too that I take my baby to all, all the time. Yeah, it's like a little Chuck E. Cheese type. Yeah, shit the shit in there. upstairs. Yeah, the third mm -hmm. floor, whole little ball pin and shit. Yeah, I almost had to sock one of the little kids in the head for playing with my daughter. But yeah, for the most part, it's cool. I'm gonna just let everybody know at home know that I'm gonna do y'all dirty and not tell you an amazing story about suspect from the mall in the arcade. But just know that <laughs> you can tell them. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I can't, and no, I won't. <laughs> don't yeah, leave no, no, no breadcrumb trails. Nah, I did some dumb that. shit, and, nah. and yeah, left the rocket launcher. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> the rocket launcher, like you know what I'm saying? Left the rocket launcher off the launch pad. This, this fool dropped the blink at the. Nah, <laughs> nah, I didn't drop it. Uh, -uh. Yeah, I didn't watch that. Nah, we that had security. Be crazy. Crazy. Nah, you couldn't see it in the vlog. That would be crazy. Nah. How, how was it going to the mall with M22? Um, to be honest, I heard him be like, damn, I ain't going to the mall without Adam anymore. This shit yeah, fly. Look, nigga, as <laughs> soon as we walked in that bitch, they're like, oh, y'all gotta come to the back. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I've been famous like six years. Niggas don't never tell me come to the back unless it's like Melrose or some shit. We went to the. Nigga, the, we in a mall. They tell us come to the back. No, we went to a streetwear place and like all of a sudden they pull us in the back. It's all sneakers and shit in the front. They got like 
three thousand dollar fucking vintage shit. What was that shit called it was again? Fire. Uh, fuck. Visions. Oh, God. Yeah, visions. Visions. And it was just it's ratchet like enough in yeah. the mall for me to get noticed more than everybody. Yo, he was he was lit. It was crazy. Niggas left and right. Yo, I'm Marty. And it's crazy how many people was I. I was noticing. I don't know if 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 Adam pick up on shit, but I be outside by myself a lot, so I gotta be aware of my surroundings. I seen like thirty people notice you, but was too scared to say anything. But, that, but like, that's I was how, so how many people, people? How many people since your incident happened? Or afraid to come up and say something to you now. To be honest, everybody was like, yo, the Kelpie shit was fire. <laughs> like, people always go, yeah, dude, that there was a lot of shit, that. bro, you whooped his ass. <laughs> like, they literally just be coming up to me saying that shit, you feel me? Now, they was noticing us left and right, but he a big-ass white man. So people was really noticing yeah. him for sure. And he wasn't paying attention like that. He be in his own little world. But I seen, like, two, like, t- uh, like grown women walk right past him. And, like, she, she tapped him and she was like, as I was walking in the Lego store. And I'm like, yeah, that's him. Go talk to him. He's like, As I walk in the Lego store. <laughs> yeah. I was walking in the Legos to get my daughter some Legos. Yo, I gave my... I still fuck with Legos. I gave my girl the Eiffel Tower Lego set for Christmas. Mm. She like Legos? She loves Legos. I, I can't wait till my son get Legos. older so I can just do something with him. And my kid got the big oh. Legos. You know, the Duplos oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. The fucking mm, gigantic yeah. Legos. No, we just get Legos. noticed left and right, though. That shit was cool. I ain't gonna lie. We should do that like every week. But we gotta get. I ain't gonna go to ComplexCon next year. We need no jumper it. expenses. All I know is, nigga, give me like eight fifty to spend at the Lego store. No, nigga, oh. that was a one time <laughs> deal for my daughter. For me, if we gonna be going vlog shopping. I can't be using my no jumper check for this, nigga. Hmm. We need the we need the American Express. Yeah, you about to be fired get, now. Give us some, get him out. Get him out of here. Give us a five hundred dollar <laughs> limit in the mall so I can go get me some jeans. We're and gonna have to take a look hey, at the, Josh, uh, the Josh AdSense gonna like, revenue. <laughs> never have a suspect on the show have, again. We're gonna need a sponsor. Facts. Honey.com no, is exactly gonna have to sponsor the vlog. We just need like a store that a sponsor us, and then we can go there every week, get some shit. You know what I'm saying? Exchange, give them promo, they give us shit. Yeah. We go in there and do vlogs and shit. I love this idea. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. AD, the verdict is in. Tory Lanez looks like he's gonna be doing some time. I don't think he's gonna go to jail. He going to jail for sure. I, I think he going to get suspended sentence. Oh, he for sure some going some to jail. Sure I haven't heard anybody say that he might not go to jail. I think he'll get a suspended sentence. He's, he's, he is 1,000% going he's, to jail. This, this case was too... They found him guilty too, of shooting a woman in the foot. They what can't if that nigga do like... Out. What if he get like, like a year of house arrest and a 10-year suspended sentence? I think that's very like... House that arrest... suspended and, sentence shit is mm, so likely I when think, you got money. I think he's going to get like maybe five. I said nine at first, maybe five. Everybody I heard says is like between five and nine. Most yeah, likely. yeah. I hope they just give him a suspension. And the reality is, is he's probably never coming back to America. No, after that, that that's the reality. He for sure his ass deported, and that's why house arrest isn't really a probability because they don't even want his ass in the motherfucking country. Yeah, and he did he did the right thing by dragging his kids to court every day because he actually has me like kind of feeling bad for not not for the fact that he got to go sit down, but just for the, the fucking kids. ramifications that that's going to have on his loved ones and shit, even though, you know, I ultimately think that justice was probably served. But, you know, mm, when you look I, at those I kids. You was on the edge of your seat, too. I think was a lot of reasonable doubt, and I, I don't think he should. No, because I, I was, sitting, I was sitting next to you. You was like, bro, Kelsey just said she lied about everything. <laughs> I was telling We were sitting there literally like. There's so day, many crazy day. things that happened throughout the course of that trial, though, specifically her giving testimony that was completely the opposite of this shit that she said right after the okay. shit. And then the neighbor comes out and says, actually, I saw her fire a shot. And then I saw them trying to drag her into the whip like they were going to fucking dump her off in the river. And nothing else in the in the, the whole time on trial, nothing else nothing corroborated what the neighbor said at all, which yes. was crazy. So, but honestly, do you feel after every uh, uh, information that you didn't gather, do you feel that they got him without a doubt. I think they did a great job at raising some doubt. Or, uh, you know, and it seemed like a lot of people kind of felt like they raised enough doubt that it might have got him off. But ultimately, I think the reason why the jury came back pretty quickly is because there wasn't really that much doubt. And especially like the, the media just did such a good job there at was painting a, the idea I, that I there was know, more. There was a lot of doubt bro, a lot coming of doubt. down. First to this. of all, I think there's a lot all, less than I, a lot of people think. I don't understand how that shit wasn't a mistrial. You got facts. You got suspects consorting with jurors in elevators. Yeah. You got people recanting their, their testimony. Statements. You have witnesses like, can't be found. But they're not yeah. gonna call a mistrial because of little shit like that. That sounds like a mistrial to in me. In typical cases, absolutely that usually be mistrial. 
Blaze Trials. Any one of those things, much less a collection of all three. Now, Adam, I want to know how it feels. You being an outspoken advocate for Meg throughout this whole thing. You Not for any particular reason, no, just because no, no, no. I thought that it, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the case. Let's, let's, right. Yeah, let, let's clarify. 1,000%, you were like, she's... Um, he's guilty. This is what happened. You were standing on that hill. You took the, you feel me? You, you took the record and put it in the mirror, let it reflect to oblivion. And then when it comes down to the verdict being announced, when that could have substantiated everything that you said, your, your very own platform reported the complete opposite. Whoa! Wrongly. Wrongly. We're the laughing stock of now media right now. Who do you think authored that tweet? Flacco. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, believe it, I believe it was from the social media team helmed by uh, our very own Flacco Chungus. That was unfortunate. That, that, that was a bummer. Just because it's like he should have been willing to wait a little longer. To be fair, like Rap TV and fucking Say Cheese got tricked at the same time. Dom is live. But they weren't riding. How are you in court? But, but they and weren't still get it wrong. But but they weren't standing. <laughs> he wasn't on there that day. How are you in the building? <laughs> he wasn't there. Not that the day. Fuck. But they weren't that standing paperwork, on that, that opinion. Paperwork, like, it did real though. It did. Like you were standing on that from Jump Street. Yeah. You were like so the fact that you don't even get to rack up them brownie points from the feminist community well i'm not trying you were to get brownie to. points or whatever but definitely yeah that sucked that fuck i felt the need to fucking prematurely post this fucking in retrospect clearly fake thing Let but me ask you th this is the thing i want to get to though is that so anthony fantano who did the podcast back in the day mm -hmm. haven't communicated with him a very long time but i'm a fan of his content right so i still am subscribed i watch his shit from time to time and i seen he dropped a video called tory lanes is guilty and it was a weird feeling because I pretty much agreed with everything he said, the whole video, in the sense of, like, what he was saying about Megan shit. But he just decided to, in this video, like, unload on me and Ack. He calls Ack, like, a stupid fucking, like, basically acts as if Ack, like, is, like, this terrible misinformation blogger or whatever. And then he says, Adam22, loser. And he, and he posts on the screen two things. He posts... A screenshot of a Vlad interview clip where Vlad, where Vlad basically suggested like, what if Tory Lanez ends up suing Meg after this all ends if he's found innocent? And I said that that would be beautiful. And I was just kind of like taken out of context a little bit because like, yeah, I said that would be beautiful if that happened, if that's actually how it played out. But like anybody who's like watched me talk about this shit knows that I basically had Meg's bag this whole fucking time. And then the other thing he put on the screen was this, this quote that I said on the news that went viral. And in retrospect, it's just like 100% true. It's exactly what happened, which is they went to a party at Kylie Jenner's shit. There was some kind of flirtation or whatever. Kylie, uh, you know, at some point asked them to leave or they leave. And then Meg gets into this crazy ass fight with Tory Lanez. And that's how the shooting happened. So like, I got dragged by Twitter. You got dragged. For saying that exact account at the time and just basically saying, this is what I heard. Now that everything has come out, that is basically, it's just a little bit more general version of exactly what happened. That's but, a pretty tame account. But too. bro, I know, in retrospect, yeah, but at the time, that was kind of like, oh, wow, like this no, is a narrative. Mind your fucking business. Yeah, yeah but, but Anthony Fantano, I'm watching this whole video and I'm agreeing with the whole video, but then he's, he's basically portraying me as if I was this anti Megan person the whole time. Now, but then I, when I say that, I have to add the asterisks because somebody on my team felt the need to post something that was not true on the No Jumper account. So that just like the fact that I sat here on this podcast and that our hardcore fans who actually watch every episode know how I feel doesn't fucking matter because to a, a regular person on Twitter, that one tweet of Flacco getting the verdict wrong was like way more people saw that than Facts. will ever watch this conversation that I'm having right now. And they're and, all going to blame you and not him. Yep. Nobody's going to blame Flacco. And let me ask you on my on my punstigator tip. Hmm. How does Adam-22 feel about Poeta Flacco these days? He did that. <laughs> Flacco's cool. That How about his, like, work status at No Jumper? Anything changing? What's going on, Adam-22? Well, there wasn't a Monday show this week. Right? Whoa, is this going to be permanent? Or are we getting somewhere? It, uh, we're going to take a step back from oh! the weekly podcast. It's not Whoa. That, it's not that Flacco's breaking totally news. off camera. Whoa, but breaking, breaking news. news. <laughs> Whoa. Breaking fucking news. Oh, That's my God. The custigator over here, <laughs> but Custigator. But we're taking a step back from the weekly Monday show. Whoa. This, this is my thing. 
We have the news. We're, we're, we're aiming to have the news going every single day at noon. So Fire. if we're going to, like, figure out new hosts and figure out that, oh, these people get along so good, we got to do a weekly show with them. I feel like we're going to figure that out on the news and maybe other streams that we're doing through, like, trying out different talent. With the Flago thing, it's like it just the views just keep dropping. It's like we, we have to actually, like, find a dynamic that works before we can, like, commit ourselves to keep going with this. So at this time... We put it on ice, and we'll see what happens. What we te- what we choose to do with Monday. Monday is prime time. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. like these are all days that we're trying to fill with a lot of good content. Well, so it's already also, a Monday. So are you trying to do more? But the, right, but, but we want to fill. Shows? In a perfect world, we'd be streaming from like noon to eight. We don't have that much content at this point, but maybe in the future it could get closer. To and be closer. honest, I got some ideas content some content on Monday has to be very strong. Because you got mm. fig immunity. Mm. Well, and you also, we it's here. also These when it's, it's wiling out. I feel like people are online the most on Monday, and then also that's when there's the most shit to talk about because you have the whole weekend's worth of shit. No, but absolutely. But when like a huge, when there's a lot of people that are tuning in to like fan favorite shows, that's why the fact that when, when our Monday show last this week did decent numbers, I was like, damn. I like, feel like that speaks volume. Yeah, we going like, up against we all back on knew, Fig, like, And like the Reddit hated people, it's me, Lush, Gina, and they on stream at the same time and we still being able to do our shit. I feel like that speaks volume. No, that shit is dope. You feel me? Because yeah. niggas love AD and niggas love back on Fig, like for sure. You know what I'm Facts. saying? So for us to be on at the same time and still getting decent views, I feel like that's good. But y'all have a great dynamic now. You right. know what I'm saying? And it, and I would agree. And it's unfortunate because I, I feel bad because I feel like Flacco is probably having a terrible last two weeks of all this shit going on. Fact. I ain't, I don't want to shit on him. I don't want to sit there and say say nothing crazy, but I feel like you guys are happy with the Monday show that y'all got going. And I just told Adam like maybe like an hour ago, and I was like, I think that Flacco is still good for us. I, I say he's like this. He's like Draymond, where like with, with, with Curry and Clay, he's the shit. But if Draymond just goes to another team, he's going to be shit. He, he, <laughs> he has to be put in a specific, you know what I'm saying, like environment for him to thrive. You know what I'm saying? I think he, who else is going to core buildings at, at 8 a.m.? It's not me. Nobody. I think he's good at his job. You know what I'm saying? I just think he needs to find a lane and, 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 and he needs help with it. Well, that, Adam, that's what I Adam got him out the paint now. Who's next? <laughs> shit. I got somebody. <laughs> We gonna what, to get out the paint? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm, about to I'm finna bring some. <laughs> oh, shit! Gonna, I think I got some people we can have on camera that'll be fire. I talked to Adam. My favorite thing, though, too, is I really want to do, like, streams where we just get on for a couple hours, and the idea is that we have, like, maybe, like, 10 people on deck, and we try them out one by one and just, like, have the fucking audience vote and shit. Because I feel like if you get somebody on camera that they're really going to fuck with, they probably only need like 10 or 15 minutes before they start to realize that they fuck with them, you know? Right. So I feel like we got to we gotta create content that helps us get way more people on camera because every now and then we just find somebody that works and it's like so good, like find Lush, find Suspect, whatever. And it's just, it, it, it's such a good thing for us. But we don't really like take that many chances on people. It just kind of right. ends up being like you did an interview and we were like, oh, fuck, like that, that went pretty good. Like maybe you could be on camera and like, you know, you fucking ended up coming with disaster or whatever. But we, we got to like force ourselves to try more people but it, out. It, you it's know? weird though, because like me being on the pod with disaster, th- there was not a thought in your mind like, oh, this fool is going to wind up being a permanent spot on the live streams and all that. And like, and, you know, a more someone that we integrate to a lot of our content. I think it, we had to see you away from him so you could really shine. Not nothing to disaster. Shout out to disaster. That's my boy. But I think, you know, sometimes when it's like a Kobe and Shaq on the same team and then when y'all go to other places, y'all can really thrive. You know what nah, I'm fuck, saying? We were like Greg Ostertag and Kurt Rambis. Fool. Like, <laughs> yeah, Adam Adam was probably this close. Like, yeah, Lush, nope. Lush is about to get out of here. Yeah, they, they were He not was about fuck- to give you the flock of treatment. They, they, they were not fucking with us. Fool. Look at Josh. <laughs> I think it was just y'all two together. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like watching y'all podcast. He ain't lying, no. <laughs> it was like y'all was interviewing each other more than the guests. No, nah, they, was, they wasn't fucking with it. The but, niggas was talking man, to themselves. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. No, jumpers are tight shift. Oh, yeah. Facts. Them views start declining. You're out of here. You on the chopping block. What? I'm just gonna get the call of niggas gay and get my views back up. <laughs> <laughs> do what you gotta do. Oh, you hey, gay. You feel me? I'm gonna make my comeback. You, you, uh, you open the door for the new stimulus package. Package, just assault somebody <laughs> oh. and then what shit about, go, what about, that shit not gonna you, work you see the TikTok of sharp facts listen 
I like you. I fucks with you. But you's a stupid bitch. <laughs> that shit viral. No, honestly, suspect, you should be to homophobia what sharp is to misogyny. And mm. you feel me just like... Misogyny. <laughs> Fire. You should get like a rainbow costume to like defeat homophobia. <laughs> what? Um, don't do that. That's what the fuck I'm not doing. Ain't no fucking way. That's what we was not Fine. doing. Memers, y'all know what I to do. I got a promotion. No key. That's what I said. It was crazy. It's the truth. Put your hands on a nigga and no jumper, you get a promotion. But you're That's not beautiful. supposed to say that after. That's beautiful. <laughs> nah, but on God, it's not going to work got a promotion. Everybody. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? I think it was just the <coughs> circumstances of how it happened. But, like, I was almost out of here, too. Let's not let's not. I hope nobody else thinks that that's a good method. Facts, because I was almost fired. He let's took my car, and I've been reflect. waiting. We were pretty hyped on I'm Phil. Like I've been waiting. Yo, I was almost fired. When Phil beat up the guy at the store on the first day, we were pretty hyped on Phil. Phil was beating niggas' lie. asses? Oh, it's, uh, there's a there's video footage. on this. It's so oh, good. Yeah. So leave that nigga alone. <laughs> so type in. Hey, Phil, I don't want no Reddit. Reddit, type in on some shit grand opening and watch that vlog. And you'll see some fire footage. Phil in a fire on suspect be like I'm not Kelpy bitch it's not just Phil either. there's mad people beating up this one dude in there <laughs> fuck I don't want no smoke Phil uh, the, the scandalous part about it during the <laughs> during the secret Santa was AD and Duno just cracking up bro I think it's suspect that was, that was the most unfunniest I've ever seen Duno like, it was not I know funny. I know let me tell AD's you why I know. Laugh why were you laughing so no, much I'm laughing because Duno you know me and Duno are stupid we look in the corner and everybody's getting gifts and the suspects is looking like this <laughs> we like I know cuz I know he don't care like that but I know like a part of me would be like bitch ass nigga didn't give me no pain. I wasn't tripping cuz I ain't gonna lie I was thinking in my head whatever this nigga give me I'm probably not even gonna fucking want no but the best gift you got but you're suspect but if you like it and when you get it nah he's not giving it to you there's nah, no way I'm just saying like I don't think it would've looked bro if you that never shit, getting a photo back if that either. shit not a fucking chain what if it was a perk if that shit look if it's not a perk <laughs> some lean a he's chain he's from the high desert he probably knows how to get some perks nigga if it wasn't some jewelry or something I wasn't finna lose my mind you know what I'm saying so whatever it was I could've went without I like that's how why you, I'm I, like I wasn't tripping who was it you, you got the gift and T-Rose like you work here that was Mac <laughs> honestly I seen him before but I was like, I have not seen you in this office I've never seen that nigga before. a damn in my life. That <laughs> that's what I was saying. I never saw that nigga a damn in my life. No, he, he did an interview one time talking to somebody on stream, and they titled it, like, Inside No Jumper. And I had not oh, even met him. him. I hadn't even yeah. met him yet at that oh. point. No, he, he cool, but... It's that was just, months ago, though. It's just funny that he was in the Secret Santa and not and, Flacco. And he knows that's, what and he knows what I like. Crazy. Yeah. You he, feel me? Flacco had a, a whole excuse about how he missed out on the Secret Santa emails or no, whatever. No, I was like, yeah, you know, it's kind of stay away with, from, with Secret from Santa, us though, right you, now. You, you got to reach out to the significant other. Like, I like I asked Heather, like, yo, what's T-Rail's uh, shoe size? And, like, you have to, like, you have to kind of figure Dance out. Dance around through, it. Uh, through, from an inside source that's going to know us up. But you got to tap in. And this, let, let's talk about how suspect... Got me a very nice gift. Look, my nigga, for I Secret never, Santa. Look, you got him a great gift. He I told me about never it. Never been in no Christmas nothing, my nigga. So <laughs> niggas talking about Secret Santas and all this shit. Yeah, look, nigga, bro, I'm a nigga. Was Fifty dollars new. This was <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> this was threw. I didn't it. even know we had a Max. He, he got him a, a Gucci hat. <laughs> he threw a Gucci hat at me and said Santa Claus ain't real. Damn, cap. I didn't know though. Like if I was, I've never, I've never been in no Christmas party in no office or no shit like that or no secret Santa. Like I didn't know. I just thought it was like, nigga, you pull your name out, you give somebody a name, do you just give them the gift when we see him? Just whenever. I didn't know <laughs> that it was like a whole event at the end of the night and everybody was. If I would have knew that, I definitely would have. First, just he fucked said him. I want niggas to see what I but see. I like that about you that you didn't know that. No, no I had no clue. <laughs> first, no he clue. said in the group chat. Yeah, I got, like, lush. I, I got lush. <laughs> right, I got lush, nigga. <laughs> hey, I ain't know. Oh, bro. He just says it super casual like three weeks in advance. No cap, like, bro. Hey, who knows? I would have got you no Gucci hat. I'm glad that I got him instead. I would have got you some pop on veneers. Mm. <laughs> I don't think it's because those... I know Lush and I know he's like a stylish uh, nigga and he likes accessories and shit like that. So No, it's very nice. You feel me? I, I'm appreciative. You got my fake Gucci hat? I got him a limited edition. Woo! <laughs> Fake Gucci. That's that that's shit the show I don't 600. like. You're not going to see is, a nigga with that. That's five 600 right there. That shit is real and as hell. you can feel it and you can tell. He said like, it's real as hell. <laughs> no cap. You touch that motherfucker, you like, this him. Mm. No cap. That shit's realer than the Velveteen Rabbit. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? That shit dumbass clean. No wow. cap. Y'all going to see him in it soon. Yeah. Do you We're, see me stunting on the bike with Parker on the back? 
Yeah. That's my new wave. I'm she doing that all over town. She looked real uncomfortable. Yeah, she got a little mad. I was going a little too fast after a while. <laughs> she's like, she's like, Dad stank. Dad got gas right the, now. The brakes Jesus won't Christ. do a skid. I don't know what it is. I got to shove my foot in the tire or something. Why are you skidding with, with your, your daughter well, I want, behind you? I want to do tricks with my kid on the bike. I don't care. Bro, please don't fall. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. He's oh. wild. Tricks with your infant child on the back is wild. The skid is like not really a what trick. What do you do though? Like you accidentally fall with Parker and she has some bruises on her and you go back and tell Linda. What do you say happened? I was trying to think of like the worst injury she could get. Unless like a car hits me, I think I, I can't really imagine anything too bad happening. I don't even she gonna put fuck that around and break a finger. I'm not gonna be going that far. How how secure is she in there? How much Oh, it's she... good. Yeah. I strap I, I built it myself, so you know it's oh, yeah. grade A quality. Huh? <laughs> Josh Nigga, just gotta give her the audible groan. They gotta give her the good old flock of ejecto cedo to a carpenter, <laughs> nigga. A carpenter. This nigga's a carpenter. A carpenter won't work on you your bike. You're building shit. Bro, he said shit. A, a carpenter. You're Come over. Shit. Send your in in inspectors over. You check you this got shit a, out. A wooden bike. I bodied it. <laughs> Go to my TikTok, Adam22, and check out my bike mod. I strapped that shit Geppetto on. Geppetto 22? Bro, Geppetto. My kid thinks Geppetto is Santa. The, the seat was I built with it. They kind of look the same. She keeps going, Santa's name is Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian. No, Ge Geppetto makes niggas. They come to life. So That movie's disturbing. The Disney one? Or the, wild, the, the, the old one from the 40s? Bro, like, why is this they motherfucker an, trapped in a they, whale for no reason all of a sudden? They have another one right now, He's too, smoking on cigars. He's a little boy. I've never seen this shit in my life. It's gangster as He's fuck. You've never boy. seen Pinocchio? Oh. It even has I'm a warning in the beginning. It says, like, fucking, warning. I'm about to say, I don't little care kids how street smoking. you think you is. Everybody's seen Pinocchio. I'm, I, I'm, I'm a real boy. I'm here with them, but I don't think, I, I can't remember a time where I sat down and, and just watched, watched it. Yeah, like, you all fuck with Jiminy Cricket? Huh? I'm here with the story. You better fuck with Jiminy Cricket. That's his name? Was. The Cricket. That's Geppetto? Geppetto is the the dad. Uh, so the wood shop owner. Talking about like a junior pedophile. Geppetto. Whoa. Geppetto. <laughs> like a junior Whoa. pedophile. Geppetto. Whoa. Ge oh, Geppetto. Yeah, Geppetto. <laughs> nigga, junior pedo. That's, that's where I thought we was going with it. I'm like, who the fuck it's are they referring it's to? It's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Italian for pedophile. Jew pedo. Jew pedo. Yeah, like, you a junior? Huh? You a junior pedo? Yeah, I thought it was a junior pedophile. Wow. I learned something new today. That was funny. I'm using that. Like, if you see a young nigga and he touching kids, you a Jew pedo. You a like a Gilligan. You a little Jew pedo. You with a your Gilligan. Little weird you ass. a So victims. <laughs> Bro, you just. We are starting that. Today. You just fucked up the whole Pinocchio now. If you a weirdo, Rick, man, that old Jew pedo so, ass. So nigga. victims are now called Pinocchios. Jew pedos. Like, <laughs> You're this liar. is not funny. Yo, the way that, that Pinocchio keeps lying and his fucking nose keeps growing longer and longer, it turns into a branch. All of a sudden, the motherfucker got elephant ears. I'm going to be honest, I'm barely no, paying attention. No, it was donkey ears. Whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm barely paying attention. I'm looking at my phone while she's watching it. I look up. All of a sudden, he got fucking donkey ears for some reason. I'm like, what the you fuck? You talking about the new on? one? No, the old one. I ain't seen the new one. So basically, the bike seat was made with shoddy craftsmanship? No. Come over. Inspect it. Send your finest, send Lance Armstrong over to the crib. Check this shit out. The same craftsmanship that built the Monday show. Bro, I spent an hour and a half. That was brutal. I spent an hour and a half in the fucking garage yesterday putting that shit together. You, you, you come inspect it. Right. Any bike shop employees out there, you want to come check out my, my craftsmanship? I'm like Geppetto in that garage. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Pause, Not me. today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> hey, I just made a whole new word alive, yeah. y'all. That's Geppetto. fucked up. Yo, if you put out a song and be calling people Geppettos, I'm oh, Geppetto ass, nigga. No you should pedal ass. That was hard. <laughs> hey, nigga wouldn't know. What are you talking about? That's like, fire. That nigga I'm call me a Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? Like start, start Googling it. File, nigga. <laughs> it sound bad when you say it like that, that hey, too. Like, and then Tom true. Hanks pops up well, his face. There's nothing wrong with being Gilligan either. If pedo Gilligan is in the cool. word, I immediately just think it's bad. Pedo was in it, so I immediately thought pedophile. Uh. Geppetto, nigga, a junior pedophile. <laughs> what we doing? Like, <laughs> it's a new word now. You no think cap. Geppetto has an Instagram? I, I you know they not. make Instagrams for like all the different people uh, from movies and shit, but like we just go. Why would you make a Geppetto I'm a go to his page? Like, like if I go to Pinocchio's page nigga. right now, is Geppetto going to be tagged in one of his? Pics? They made Stevie Wonder one. Really? That wasn't cool. That's fucked up. How many times did you watch the Happy Chinooka video over the holidays? <laughs> not this one, but the first time. I seen happened. it on Josh's story Happy one time. Happy Chinooka. <laughs> it brought me back. What about the gang banging? Gang banging. Oh, we should have busted that out with Sipping your dad that today. Wine. <laughs> you know what we're talking about? No. Oh, gang banging. Oh, yeah, he's a Yeah, that's a gang slapper. Gang banging. Mm -hmm. Smokey Robinson had a little phase where 
I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. It was when super he did viral this on Twitter. Yeah. Ass video where he was selling that shit dope. Was the weirdest <laughs> <movie> <laughs> video I've ever seen in my life. I know have exactly what you're talking about. Your that nigga aged like have milk. A no ho. <laughs> that nigga Smokey <laughs> aged like straight milk. You see that video and you're like, damn, you need an A and R around you. Like, he was you trying to stop it. Well, yeah, no, the, but the, not the like record, that. The record. I made it worse. Hey, but the best. I almost caught a body after I watched that. The best shit is when he went to the little poetry thing and he did a cappella. Smoking that dope. Having no hope, gang banging. <laughs> so good. That nigga needs a skin. The thing routine. is, he tried to ha- he like tried to not get it put out, and it was on ice for years, and then it kind of reemerged. What it leaked? Yeah, yeah, that leaked way after the fact. Happy. That, that was that was shot years before wow. it actually came out. Mm. That's hard. I don't think I've seen the full Happy video. I just seen clips on a gram and. No, that shit's shit. amazing. It's cool to like try to stop gangbanging by making a song that makes gangbanging sound sick as fuck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> gangbanging. <laughs> like that's not gonna work. That song Sign me up. Yeah, you yeah. made <laughs> yeah, you made it worse. Yeah. Like Smoking way worse. Dope. You just made being a gang member sound like, cool as fuck. Wait, I can't gangbang or I gotta listen to Smokey. Oh, I'm out of here. Yeah. All right, what else we got on this uh, topic list here? Since you fire Flacco. <laughs> That's crazy. We did not fire. Hey, that nigga Flacco. AD acting ignorant today. <laughs> on my punchigator too. Nah, you just hate Flacco, huh? Yeah, fuck that no, political Flacco. shit. We turning up on him today. No, Flacco's my guy. You trying to get him out the paint? Nah, Flacco's my guy. Does Gina like Flacco? No, she didn't put him on Secret Santa. You won't and even look at her. It's crazy because on God, I still don't be having no ill will towards that man right but now. But he was just in here. And he he didn't look at you, right? He do not at all. He do not fuck with you. That bro. nigga don't even look me in the eye. He I treats was, you like he kill, you killed his homie. Or I something. was just in here and tell him, I'm like, he he still he has he still has function. I be feeling bad for him. I'm not wasn't even hating. I'm like, he still has function. I'm not going to courtrooms at 7:45. He has a specific uh, position he's, that I think he could fill. He's great with hip hop knowledge. He's going to do shit that everybody else is, um, ain't going to do, but I think he's oblivious to a lot of shit. Facts. Just how to be a human being. That's all. But do, do you think to a certain extent that Flacco kind of had like the wind taken out of his sails because he just kept coming in here week after week and you and Suicide and T-Rail and even me and damn near everybody here just over and over and over telling him like, stop doing this and you need to like, but but realistically, realistically it's like, even at our worst, even at our most bullying, we were really looking out for him because he's right. really no, because we didn't want nothing to happen to him. Yeah, yeah. No, hold on though. If I y'all, still don't want. I don't want nothing to happen. If y'all to him. didn't do that, and he had continued to just shoot off at the mouth with pure autonomy, where would that have ended? Would all how would that have everybody? How would that have turned out? Dealing with that shit, or he might have like got caught slipping in some n- nasty ass. Way. See, I'm, I look at shit like this, right? If we're sitting here, we're going to be a platform. We have to hold everybody accountable. But ultimately, if something happens at No Jumper, this is the nigga that's going to get in trouble for the shit. Facts. Regardless. So, like, just looking at that shit, it's like, okay, on one end, it's like, okay, Adam tries to make people act independently, but this is not independently because anything that comes on his platform, they're going to hold him to their shit. So it make all of us look bad. If Adam do something stupid right now, people will be like, AD, why... Why Adam do this? But there's why a whole, does he why does he do this? There's I'm a whole, representing this company. That's fact. I can't represent this company with some, lie. some weirdo shit on here. That's crazy that you said that because like the last couple times that I've been in public, I think it was like a battle rap event. And on God, a nigga pulled me to the side and asked me how I feel about Adam and the shit he See? Did. I swear to God. And nigga, I just found myself defending you for 45 minutes. I remember <laughs> nigga, I, I in I was the there. middle. Yeah, you was there in the middle. Of the, I'm like, nigga, first of all, he paid me, nigga. Second of all, nigga, I'm like, what other network you see just employing all young black black See, me and this nigga, let's keep it a buck. We argue like cats and dogs, you feel me? And now that's what I told him too. I Mm -hmm. I, I was like, if you don't think if I'm in the same room with Adam and he say something that I disagree with, you don't think I'm going to be like, hey, Adam, I don't fuck with that. I don't give a fuck if this my boss, if this my boss, nigga, if it's something I disagree with, I'm going to say it. We grown ass men. We can disagree. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? And this is But I had to defend that nigga for like an hour. And I look at him like the homie. So like, if you do something I don't like. holding my homies accountable. If he don't say something I don't like, I don't sit I'm just like, hey, bro, I don't fuck with this. Woo, woo, woo. He going to tell me the same type of shit. But I'm not going to come on camera and be like, all right. Whatever yeah, yeah, and make the right. shit. I'm we still know the shit down. We in the group chat too, motherfucker. We, we <laughs> I don't, know like, I don't think like anybody like here feels inside. like they can't fucking argue with me about shit. Not, like, nigga, or, you, you know? stubborn as hell. Well, I we, mean, I'm fucking starting arguments not, half the time. If I got something to say, I'll just say it. Between eight and eleven, it's up every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Rumble before Facts, the joint morning. gets sparked. 
every yeah, morning. Before Adam, before, before Adam, before uh, Adam's hit the Jack Shack. Facts. I don't usually beat off in the morning. It, it goes up in the morning. Maybe I, I should institute that, that though. I Maybe think out of everybody should. here, you probably didn't had one-on-one conversations with me more than everybody. Really? Would you agree? But, as far as on some like confrontation type shit. Okay. Here and there, we got to patch things up. So yeah. with that, with that being Facts. said, do you feel like there's a degree of culpability on your part? For the whole Flacco thing, considering Flacco was kind of what you unleashed as, I can't say this shit. I can't talk shit. <laughs> I, I have to stand on my words. But this fucking wrecking ball of a human being can. The white man strikes again. Nah, but like, listen, Flacco, like, it's easy for people to forget how. It's a how, human bowling ball. Listen, when he first came in here, when we first flew him out, and remember how fucking entertaining every goddamn piece of content we did about him was? It was like, we couldn't even do this show every Tuesday without talking about him half the fucking time. Mm-hmm. It really got out of control at a certain point. And it was like, he just came in with a different energy and mad controversial takes and everything. And a lot of it was fucking over the line. Let's be real. But, like, I mean, we brought him in here like anybody else, except he had to fucking move out from Wyoming. But, I mean, I don't really feel, like, guilty about it or anything. Like, he fucking, you know, he's, he's doing his thing. <laughs> you hear like, the guilt in his voice. But what am I supposed to feel guilty about, that I gave him a fucking opportunity? You made him move out here. You said, see ya. Nah, but I didn't fire him. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, if somebody comes out here and gets on the show... Obviously, it kind of like like if you move out here to be on the show. Obviously, we're gonna be conscious of the numbers, right? It's and not if the look, numbers dramatically fall off. We're gonna be conscious of it. This shit is not a motherfucking charity. At the end right. of the day, yeah, right? Like you have to earn. Hold your, your spot, waiter. Get the fuck on. Keep that spot, and it could go at any time. Facts. So you better fucking stay. And we haven't place. had to like necessarily run into a position where somebody that we really fuck with, that we really, really consider homies, that we really like as a person, that we have to say like. All right, this person has been on the channel for a while, but realistically, it ain't working out. So we gotta like that is gonna be a weird fucking bridge to cross one day, if it does become like that. And it is kind of weird too, though, because don't you feel like how much we like each other kind of like coincides with how much the fans like each other, each person as well. Hmm. Like if somebody genuinely yeah. sucks on camera, so, yeah, doesn't that also ge- generally seem like a person that you wouldn't really be dying to be in the group chat with every day either? But right. but not always because you know. Then again, you never put them in a group chat. And I then mean, again, some people are like super fucking laid back and chill, and they're the homie. But you would never really. What the fuck is going on with the? Yeah, my levels? shit went up. Oh God, hopefully, my shit went down and. Then. Hopefully everything's but, all right. But, but the thing but, is, but like we good now. We got a lot of homies that are mad chill that you fucking love, but you wouldn't really want to see them on camera. Yeah, which is fact. which that's different. Like some people are just kind of like boring on camera, but they're like great people. True. But the thing is, like at the end of the day. We have to have our own opinions because, the, like, the fans is going to be like this. They're going to fuck with you, not fuck with you, not. So Facts. You got to do gotta, your thing. True. But I think, I don't know, I, I think maybe when he's seen, he would have prevented this by speaking to me and Gina. That's it. This exact position would, 100%. Ha, would have been stopped. 100%. If all he had to do was say, look, I don't, can we make the show more about the topics and less personal about me. I think we need to see you and Gina and Flacco on camera at least one more time. Just no, so I'm you know, not I mad. want him to say where I'm he's not how he come. feels in his heart he's towards not each going of you. To. He literally <laughs> talked to Lush the entire show. He didn't even look at us in the eye. And since that day he's never looked me in the eye. Well Lush did call him stinky. But apparently he could get over that. You guys are so mean. He could get over that but he could, hold yeah. on AD he smelled good? Hey I ain't gonna talk about I them. still ain't smelled him. I did. And I'd be smelling. He smelled good? It wasn't like, he's not a habitual stinker, Mm. but like, it was like once or twice. He's right. But nah, all he had to do was just stop to to stop this exact shit happening. Just talk to me and Jeannie and you still would have had a place. (laughs) Like, you know what I'm saying? He blew it. You know, the opportunity we blew at the Secret Santa is I should (laughs) have got him the Irish Spring. (laughs) That's probably why he didn't come. Successfully clean. Because if you got him a Costco box of Irish Spring. Right guard. He never coming back. Secret. Uh, strong enough for a man, pH balance for the active chungus. Like, what the fuck, fool? That would have been wild. Uh, he man, did that we, to himself. We he really fucked up, us. guys. We really fucked up. Flacco, you can come film me whenever you want to. <laughs> Flacco, Flacco, Flacco is basically week. your house. How did everybody else know about Secret Santa and the Christmas party, and he just didn't know? Niggas cap. Hey, how come Tone didn't get his I mean, who, I'm kind of upset about that. Right? I was thinking that, too. That's pretty scary. No, but think about it. Who would have texted Flacco and said, are you coming to Secret Santa? I mean, everybody you. else knew, right? Why didn't you? You love him. 
You just said you loved him a few minutes ago. I mean, I thought he knew already. <laughs> I would have assumed he knew. I don't know who. Well, how wouldn't you? Everybody else. Everybody knew. else knows what I'm saying. The one well, miracle didn't, nigga that didn't, didn't know. He didn't get an email. We all got the emails for the secret Santa. So he didn't get one. I think I had to check my spam. I heard that Gina Toe asked him for his email. And he he didn't write it back to her. Gina specifically said on the stream the other day that she didn't include him because she was not fucking with him at the time. No, she asked. Oh, they go the woman police over there, Josh. The yeah, Josh. Josh, the woman Josh, police. Josh, a.k.a. Gina's bodyguard. <laughs> and no, yeah, hey, I, I talked about that know, today, too. I need that Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, that's Kevin Costner. Oh, my Costner. God. It's like Whitney Houston. Walking with the wolf. Talk to me, Josh. <laughs> walking with the wolf. Here you go. I'm walking so with Gina the wolf. So Gina did say that she had asked for everyone's email in that group chat. He didn't reply, but she didn't press the issue because she wasn't feeling him. Mm. Yeah. That's what but she, that's she what did. She if Gina ain't feeling you, the option, you ain't going to brunch. <laughs> Sucks to be you. But, and we're all misogynists, by the way. Yo, what happened with that? Misogyny. That. Yeah. We talked about that today. So what? You, you guys she, are... said, she said she said we didn't do nothing wrong. Uh-huh. We, oh, well, she said I didn't do nothing wrong. What do you mean? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> a- 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 you be on some... But did she? Suck a shit she when said, it comes "Girls to that. get thrown <laughs> under the bus at no jumper, right?" <laughs> she said, "As long as it ain't me, I'm yeah, good." Yeah, that, nah, I feel like I felt like she was tripping though, because me and Les was really just, bro. We we just didn't agree with her. That's yeah. all. About, what was the topic you didn't agree about? It was about well, basically, it was about city the, girls. Yeah, the city girls, and we were telling. It was it was a lot of back and forth about Diddy and side chicks and stuff like and that. And here's the thing: when it comes to topics like this. In order to make it more interesting and fun for us, we have to kind of act like we're more invested in it than we really are, or else, because at the end of the day, we're grown ass men talking about fucking where P. Diddy's putting his dick. And it's kind of fucking weird. So we have to at least pretend to like to take a certain stance. I think it's understandable. For the sake of content. Uh, of, but of course, we want to have conversations about one of the most famous, richest people in, uh, in the culture of who course. also has a sex life that is apparently a lot more interesting Man, than most of ours, right? If it's on the news list, we have to talk about but the, it. But that's it's in it, the script. But, but you understand, like, y- yes, you're right, Adam. But as far as us, in order to make it more enjoyable for not just us, but for the people watching it, like, I'm going to lean into investing in one viewpoint or side more than I really can. At the end of the day, I don't. Like, I'm curious to talk about it because I like the culture and all Lush that. Lush but, but I don't really give, give a, a fuck. fuck. You feel me? Either way. If, um, you we know. Was giving her a, we was giving her a... A nigga perspective. Yeah. On yeah, <laughs> giving a nigga perspective <laughs> on how men view certain things when it comes down to women. So just like if somebody said they're not my side chick, if a nigga we know we niggas, we like, hey, check it out. Oh, I fuck with you like that. You feel me? But I don't give you that title. I mean, essentially, you're not my girlfriend at the end and, of the and, day. And then I get another bitch pregnant. And then for show sure, you not my main bitch. If I just got another bitch pregnant, and I was paying you five hundred mil, five hundred thousand a month, and then I, as soon as I get this other bitch pregnant, I reduce your allowance to two hundred k. City. How girl, do we know that? Because that was all publicized. Really? Yeah. yeah. What he the said fuck? It. Yeah, this is all publicized. He so reduced it, her allowance. Why? Because city girls down one. Wow. And then Gina didn't agree with us, and then. She said that we was uh, wasn't self aware, and Josh was like, "Yeah, you guys are not self aware." Yeah. Then, so I was like, the, "The woman police over there," and I then look. she said that women have a hard time working for this company. Josh's destiny. Josh just got back from the slut walk. And she- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hoe. <laughs> Need that Photoshop. <laughs> and, and, and looking like Kevin Costner. Josh, Josh, give me a perspective. Give me a perspective Kevin on this Costner debate. With I'm a hoe shirt. Well, I cede the floor to Josh. So. The conversation went. <laughs> you could talk over them laughing. No, I know. Cackling. He's messing with the levels over here. Okay. Um, Gina's point was that there's a lot of speculation on this relationship that they don't know a lot about. And she then related it to how there's a lot of speculation on her and AD's relationship. And not just me. N- not a lot of serious speculation. No, right? that's what I was saying. Some troll comments. Back, like she was relating it back to this platform and how people, what people say, isn't often what's going on behind closed doors. That was the point she was trying to make. That she there's a lot of things that, that happen that don't make it to the media. Yeah, right. duh, right? Like, yeah. 
I mean, these guys were getting defensive and saying that she was becoming emotional because she was relating it back to her. And then she started getting pretty pissed that they just weren't understanding no, her point. Listen, we were chilling. She did get personal. We were chilling. She, she said, "Related the point she, back no, to you." Her guys. exact and thing was, her example "I'm was not that. having sex with 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 everybody that's on this show except Adam." What? That's, yeah, that's what the, that's what the no, argument the, was. The, the best is the edit. <laughs> the best is the edit. Okay. Wait, what about except <laughs> Adam? No, I'm just saying. She said she, people she, say that you, you weren't mentioned is what you he weren't means. mentioned. Everybody here except Th- you. They said she's not fucking suspect, not oh. fucking me, not fucking him. But I'm sure I've seen that. Of like, oh look at like the picture of me holding Gina up in the air or whatever. Yeah. Like everybody posts on the Reddit. Oh, he just wants to be included. No, I'm just saying that everybody's <laughs> gonna make that joke about every female who ever comes here ever. But if Bye. we're having a top, if we have a topic and we're talking about it, once we make it personal, then it was like, okay, you 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 made it more. You know what I'm saying? It got emotional because I you're talking even... about something that's directly affecting you. You get what I'm saying? It seems pretty clear to me that Diddy and Miami have a pretty one-sided relationship. Thank you. Right. He that's gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. Fun. And, that's, and she's got to stay. That's and that's what we and were apparently saying. she's cool with that. Me, that's all we've been saying this whole time. But at the end of the day, I didn't even think that Gina was really tripping that hard or like saying anything that crazy. Josh put a fire under her ass low-key. You feel me? Because because he's the voice of reason. So if the voice of reason agrees with you, he said, "Fuck us." Like, yeah, Josh the, is the voice of reason. The point that I agree. Absolutely, <laughs> it ain't you. I agree with Gina when she was like, "Just because another bitch get pregnant, don't mean that that she's not the the uh, the side bitch." Because I'm one hundred percent. But, but we didn't say that that we wasn't. The case. That was just one of the points. All we said is that During she's that not. All we said is she not the main bitch. I I, I personally agree. You feel me? I don't think she's the main bitch, but just because you go get another bitch pregnant doesn't mean that that bitch is not the main bitch. Niggas get niggas side all the bitches time. pregnant all the time. No, for sure. Side bitches usually the ones if that get I pregnant went, the main if, if I had the kind of relationship where I could go have a fucking other girlfriend and get her pregnant and Lena was actually like, yeah, it's cool. Like, we have that kind of relationship. Now, for the record, that is not the case right. at all. But if that was the case, I mean, I could fathom that. So I don't. I still don't even get what the fucking argument is. You'll get that, a show like Sister Wives. Of course. Show. But everybody <laughs> could have, everybody, and especially in the rap game, everybody got all kinds of different weird fucking open relationships where there's famous ass dudes in relationships they're allowed to fuck other girls there's a, there's a whole lot of that it's not that out of the ordinary right 22 mentality I mean not me I'm, I'm perfectly happy being in a yeah, yeah. relatively on camera we're committed except when we're on camera I am about to say because you get to fuck a million people you get, you, a year you definitely get the best of both worlds let's keep it a stack like, I like my arrangement it I look forward to being 80 years old beaten off to plug talk wow available at only plug talk.com no, that's that's. I never even thought about that because it's interesting. Because I know, like, I for show sure jerk off thinking about. Oh, Gina's that calling. I've done. Should Ooh. I answer? Yeah. Oh, answer. Shit. Gina views. Am I live on the No Jumper show? You was live on the No Jumper show, Gina. Because you niggas are selling bits and pieces again. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I thought we got over this earlier. Gina. We Gina. Did. Y'all talking about it right now. Y'all still not telling it like what happened. I really want Adam to just go watch it. I don't no. even want to make it seem and like Josh this over there is like shaking his head. that even fucking matters. This is what happened, Adam. Can you hear me? Yes. No, hold on. Hi, Gina. Hi, Adam. Hi. We was talking about the young Miami. Da, 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 da. So like y'all said, I related it back to something that we can all relate to. Me and AD specifically, knowing that me and him do not fuck with each other. However, there's people outside the situation speculating, saying that we got something going on. From that point, it was said that I was being emotional because I brought up something that was personal to me. Well, I'm just trying to give an example of something we can all personally relate to. Because everybody in the office know that I'm not fucking nobody in the office. No, I don't feel a way about nothing. I thought we were just having a freaking conversation. Then I told them that they lack self awareness, and this is, and I'm not the first person who said. I said Adam has also said you guys lack self awareness, both of you. Bitch ass niggas. And then, oh, you're being emotional. Oh, you're doing the girl thing. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm going to run my narrative, but I would would say that that is kind of true. Like when you're arguing about something and like people just start being like, oh, you mad, you you emotional or whatever. It's like that's not really like conducive to a real exchange of ideas. Right. I would agree. I agree. I I agree. I'm sticking to what I think. I I, I do agree with that. However, I don't see that anything that we said in that conversation, how it was indicative to a lack of self-awareness. To say, like, it's it's hard for women at the workplace. When me and Lush show Gina a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. Gina, do you find AD and myself to be misogynistic towards you? 
I talk about how good all of you niggas are so much that motherfuckers think that I'm fucking y'all. I don't even know how y'all took it there. I literally dig everybody there up. That's what Josh said. No, you do. And <laughs> because, look, you know that you're cis at the end of the day. You know how much we all fuck with you. However, you saying that we lack self-awareness, to me, at that moment... And it's not something that you always do, but at that moment you lacked self awareness to me because it was kind of like it's kind of like this is reality like, TV. Where did I lack self awareness? Because it, it, because after you, that we also had the conversation about me being too aware and that being a flaw, which is true as well. That. Which is true as well. But sometimes you can focus on yourself and minute details so much that you lose you, sight of the bigger pictures. You and AD are two people who make yourself the main character of any conversation. I for sure do it. Facts. AD has to be Batman of any story. Do I, I love it. Do, do I do that? For it? No, I'm just playing. I get off on that. Yeah, I know. When Elon Musk posted a Batman picture the other day, that's all I could think about. That we was going back and forth with Flacco. You wanted us to hone in on you not having any knowledge on underground rap. You fucking did that. True. Now, emotional, me being emotional is right now. Me being emotional is me hunching my shoulders at Flacco and going off. That was me being emotional. In that conversation, I was not being emotional. I was trying to give y'all an example that you can relate to. I don't understand how y'all don't understand that. Okay, no, what you said, again, it's the same thing I, I, I said the look, other look, day. Look, look, the Lush, content- let, me get, let me get a Lush. Go ahead. I feel like me and Lush, you were having just a regular conversation, and then it went from that, from us not agreeing with you, it was more like it's hard for women to succeed in this workplace, and we lack self-awareness. When did, we, when did, I, say, when did I say that on that show? Wasn't it something like that, Josh? It was something to that degree. It was something about, to that degree. About it be, like I it's know being hard for women. It's difficult. Yeah, yeah. I said I know how to read a room. But but and, just and just but just because like we don't. I just said a couple about twenty minutes ago on this show that it's okay for every for people not to agree with each other. Y'all were just saying how sometimes y'all don't agree with Adam. No, for I sure. Yeah, but that was yeah. yeah. But if I disagree, it's emotional. But no, but that no, but that's a, that's the same thing. It was like okay. Just because we're not agreeing with you shouldn't warrant that it's hard for women in the workplace. No, when we just don't agree don't with what you're saying. saying but but here's here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. G, we're around each G. other. We're around each other. We're around each other several hours every single day. We know each other pretty well. We're pretty tuned into each other's emotional state. What the content of what you said, 100, percent which is a regular back and forth exchange the energy behind it, your tone of voice, you seemed irritated, you sounded... Um, it sounds like you're doing the emotional thing to me. I, I mean, you could say that, but I don't, I don't I really... Walked, I walked out of there thinking that we just had a conversation. I didn't know until today that y'all had an issue with that day. No, we don't have an issue we with that no day. We got no issue. Absolutely not. But it's been brought up multiple times today. Unless when, after we did the, when we did the Monday show on Thursday, you brought it up again and I just walked past it. You brought up the misogyny thing again, and you brought it up again at the beginning of this podcast. I've been watching the whole time. You, you the, said I'm being I'm misogynistic. You said it again. I walked. Oh out no, no, but but that's Thursday but but that's not every. That we had just a regular conversation. A, a, I did not know this was a thing. Every reference to misogyny is not regarding you at all on this pod. Like that's been a running joke on here for a long what time. What about calling Josh the What about calling Josh the woman's bodyguard or whatever you said? That was definitely in reference. <laughs> that was definitely in reference to that. But they no. got Adam. They got they got they got mad when I said they lacked self awareness. That's what happened. I didn't get mad. I, 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 I wasn't mad. Emotion. I just thought it was a little I ironic. We was having regular conversations. I ain't losing no sleep. On the phone with AD for hours. This is my friend. I thought we were just having exactly. a conversation. I didn't know that this was like that. All right. I would have called you on the side. I didn't I, know this was like that. I'm going to have to watch it tonight. i got to pass judgment. I, I, I will be a harsh and, and brutal god once Gina, I do this. I love this. you. Yeah, yeah, I love you, too. It's not serious on my end. But... Boy, fuck you, bye. <laughs> oh, I knew the boy fuck you was coming for boy, sure. Fuck I you knew that was coming. Whoa. Damn. That's her favorite phrase. I I knew the boy fuck you was coming. Boy, fuck <laughs> you is a lot. I feel bad Damn. now. Damn. I don't. I love you, Gina. I love Gina too. Damn. Wow. All right. So, how about we just this? We went hella reality TV for a minute. How about this? 
Let's go to Jim Jones's Instagram. Why is it? Ah, Josh got something Josh to say. Right. Number uh, six. Go ahead, Josh. Josh got something to say. Go ahead, Josh. Oh, okay, and, and bring so up Jim Jones's Josh Instagram right. on the screen while you can. Uh, oh, I don't think Josh is right at all. Do, do, do you feel right like you were wrong thing. with it? I'm still confused. Like, I must lack self-awareness because I still... I'm not really aware of what. Maybe I, maybe it's the main character syndrome. I feel like I have yeah, two I potential. I, I feel like I have two potential narratives in my head, and I I'm interested to watch this when I get home, so I can decide which one actually right. happened. It could <laughs> be they could have, to, or it could be, it could be that. And Adam's gonna text me, so let me know. I can't wait to see. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't feel like that I did anything wrong. However, I don't want to upset Gina. Because I fuck with Gina. I got to be like the Tory Lanez jury. I can't be looking at social media before I go watch this clip. I don't want anyone tainting my judgment. Facts. I feel that. I don't know. I just was watching it, and I just seen, like, a simple back and forth. I don't know. Like, I don't really see one side wrong or one side right. I just seen a little back and forth. You know what I'm saying? People mm -hmm. have people can disagree. You know? That's regular. That's what we do up here is disagree. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't see nobody at fault. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got the Jim Jones Instagram? <laughs> okay. Just shut up, Lush. I'm not Let's gonna not say, say anything. I'm not going to say a motherfucking mm -hmm. word. Man, but, bro, if we lose Gina, we're going to really... No, we lose can't Gina. lose nah, Gina. No, but if we, if we did, we're we going to be real lose. hard up for it's a female voice. We cannot lose Gina. We got to get some more girls in here so we won't be so one-sided, don't you think? Let's get a gang of them. Or like maybe like That'd one more. Bad. Like we gotta like start, you know, That'd gradually. Be bad. No, if not, a bunch of bitches in here, it'd be bad. <laughs> Damn, well, I, if you I, say a bunch of bitches, yeah. It'd be bad. <laughs> Yo, I think I almost got packed out by Ace Girl Cheeks at the Christmas party. Ace Girl Cheeks. Because I didn't remember meeting her at the live show or whatever. Put and respect. I was like, I was like, nice to meet you. Put she goes, Don't do that. Home girl. I felt bad too. She bad as fuck. <laughs> Cheeks hella cool. Man, leave house one girl alone. When he dating her? What? What you mean? I just, like, I seen him standing next to her at the party. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? You lack self-awareness. No, that's not self-awareness. That's more just I like, just wanted to throw something out there. just, like, caring about anything <laughs> beyond How, how long have you, you been dating her? And where did that come from? Bro, Dog, it's been talked about. Where have you been? So on he's, this podcast. He's, Nobody told me shit. He's lying. He watches all this shit. What are you talking about? You watch a lot of shit. No. He I'm said, pretty sure they you don't. On this show. I've never seen we her have. on a podcast before. Oh, you've we never have. seen it? Oh, okay. No. I, I love that people think I'm actually watching pun streams. Oh. Damn. I mean, no offense. It's just <laughs> like, I don't even watch videos about myself. You just got a shot thrown at you. I'm just I'm being just real. You. Oh, wait. Pun's going to love it. He's going to love it. He's going to get the you. interview Boom. with his pops, he's going to have plenty of, yeah, plenty of response to that. Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to be a fascinating thing to see. But no, what what the fuck? Did, did Smack ever yell at her? Because I feel like I watched... No, I that watched, was, yo, that's, that's a different girl. Well, okay, then I definitely ain't seen her because I feel like the only shit I watched from Pun was just Smack yelling at some girl. Smack never yelled at Illa before. Mm -hmm. no. Shout out to Illa. I followed her because I'm like, damn, I don't want to make this mistake again. Shout out to Illa, Barbie, my girl Auntie, you feel me? Yeah, Come on. the ladies, the ladies. Auntie? Auntie, Auntie man. Hmm. Is she really an aunt? Probably. She just got aunt Lush with the amazing game at her. He was Gay shooting. manner? No, <laughs> he was shooting a shot. He was he was, he was, doing, he was hey, doing a great job. It, it ain't no shooting a shot if you fucking take it to the hole. You feel me? That that shit you definitely was, took it to the hole and won. Pause. Let's look you at respect uh, women so good. Hey, let's, exactly. let's let's take a look over here at the Jim Jones top ten hottest podcasters for 2022. Let's go through here. Number one, Drink Champs. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably pretty fair. Million dollars worth of game. Number two, definitely seems fair. Earn your leisure. I'm not. Uh, I was gonna say I'm not super familiar. I'm not familiar. With with I am yet. not sure if I've seen that. But yet. people told me it's great. Who hosts that? I have no idea. I gotta do some research because it sounds real familiar. Like I might have seen it, but I can't remember. All right, Joe Budden podcast share. Kai Sanat, very weird inclusion, and he actually he noted in the caption. I'll just read that part. He wrote. Some might argue Kai Sanat is not a podcaster, but he interviews people, so therefore he has a component of podcasting going in during his show. So, yeah, he's super popping to the young generation. I mean, I definitely see where he's going with that because Twitch streaming and, and podcasting, like, the, the line between them is kind of like it's a very, blurry mm -hmm. line. It's mostly just the mics but uh, or, like, the camera angle, you know? So, whatever. I mean, that, that makes sense. And then, no jumper. Makes it to number six, which is very nice to see. I, I, I wonder where we would have landed if we hadn't just done a very good interview with Jim Jones before that. Because, bro, when Jim Jones came in, he looked at me and, like, put it together. He's like, oh, this is your shit. Like, he kind of knew. And he didn't look happy about it. He kind of, like, he knew who I was and knew that I was messy. And he knew that No Jumper was some popping shit. But it didn't seem like he had 100% put it together that, like, I was the host. So I'm, I found that interesting. But I also assume that he's kind of giving us credit for the entirety of the No Jumper thing. I think that the interview helped, but I think that um, 
maybe bumped us up a few spaces. Might have had us front of mind. To be honest with you, like, as far as this list goes, um, I really, I I fuck with Drink Champs. I fuck with Million Dollars Worth of Game. I fuck with Joe Budden Podcast. Um, I fuck with my expert opinion. I would add Vlad and academics to that list. And right. you feel me? Yeah. I like, think those are glaring omissions. I ain't seen lip service in many years. No offense to her. I really don't know what kitchen talk is, to be honest. Mano shit. Oh, it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Shout that, out to Mano. That, That's that my boy. Be. Yeah, I would I like love to, I'd like to see that. I haven't, but I fuck with Mano. See, I didn't know that. My when bad. When you put Kai in there, too, in the same sense of streamers, you got to throw Aiden Ross in there, too. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure, like, that's the thing is like Jim knows about Kai. He probably don't even know about Aiden, you know, mm-hmm. or maybe he does, but it's like he's not specifically like hip hop either, you know. Uh, but anyway, this like, and then uh, yeah, all the other ones definitely seem like they make sense. But so academics was just watching this on stream and was basically like arguing the point that No Jumper has just like a ton of random podcast and that i'd be giving podcasts a random crackhead so let's let's just like run through <laughs> let's okay, run through right each podcast on the channel at this moment in time so the, the like the the main ones of course you have the adam interviews and then you also have t-rail and flacco doing interviews on the channel as well i do, I do interviews and do you know and, and yeah and just Lush, like Lush Lush doing doing too. right everybody a lot, a lot of people Gina. doing some here and there yeah Gina. but uh and then you have the no jumper show which you know I feel like is a a pretty respectable podcast that has a sizable viewership, I think it would be fair to say. And then you have At the End of the Day, which is pretty much about the same views on the average week, I would say. And then you have The Sharp Tank, which honestly might actually be number one in terms of like average views per episode. I mean, when you you take into consideration all the viral episodes that Sharp has had, that millions and millions of views, I mean, clearly Sharp is not a crackhead even metaphorically, you know, Sharp, Sharp's doing numbers. And then you have Disconnected, which, you know, averages probably around 100K every single week. So not as big as some of the other ones, but I feel like definitely has a solid fan base and the, 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 the people fuck with Disconnected in its own right. And then there's the Monday show. And then you got the Monday show. And I feel like the Monday show, you know, obviously that's the one that has gone through the most uh, modifications in recent memory. But the past few weeks come into its own, and you right. feel me got got a solidified cast and yeah. is on I, the way up. I feel like, and then you have the news streams as well. You have the mm-hmm. vlogs. I mean, there's a lot of content going up on the stream. That's not even the same thing. Sledge Lords or the Clips Channel or everything else that we have going on. I mean, I don't know. I just you could definitely look at No Jumper and be like, oh, some of the shows are more popular than other shows, and some of them are not as popular. Whatever. But we still, I mean, like, there's a lot of podcasts out there that are considered, like, big, successful podcasts that get 100,000 views every month, every week on YouTube, right? So, I mean, we have pods that are doing way more than that. Well, also, I mean, the No Jumper approach to podcasting is becoming, like, its own network, which features a plethora of different talent Mm. and different voices it's not something like Vlad or Academics where it's primarily one p- person's voice juxtaposed with, you know, whoever um, they're interviewing or whatever the topic is of the moment. So it's a very different approach. I can understand how if you're not, if you're not a regular viewer, you might see No Jumper and be like, who are these motherfuckers? But everybody that's on this platform was hand-selected very methodically and has a... Has a, um, a re- a whole repertoire that predates their any of our affiliation with No Jumper. This is there's fact. there's nobody on No Jumper that got made as far as in the world of hip hop by No Jumper. Now it did give a lot of us second lives. It did, you feel me, put a battery in a lot of our backs. It did provide new opportunities and help a lot of us reach new plateaus. But there's not a single person that's on here that didn't have a valid voice in the culture in one way or another. In hip hop, and prior it's the only to new jumper, and it's the only network where somebody besides the owner is on camera, damn near more than the owner. They can't tell us nothing. And I've been thinking about this a lot, honestly. Like just with the whole end of the year and shit, is that I just feel really lucky that we still like after all these fucking years, still have so many people watching the podcast. And I was thinking about that when I was looking at the lot, the views on the old episodes. Is that we used to do this shit and get 50,000 views or whatever, like 30,000 views when we first started and shit. And it was whatever. I was like, you know, that's not crazy. It but didn't matter. We're going to keep it going. Just see what fucking happens. 
And like, you know, I, I started doing it because of the Joe Budden podcast. And, you know, I'm not going to compare views, but I think that in comparison, we're doing pretty good too. Like, you know, they're still doing numbers and everything. But I mean, I'm not sitting around comparing myself to other people or whatever. Like, I don't really like think about it like that anyway. And even the, even the worst podcast on here view wise, it's still like, if you're constantly, like for me, honestly, the thing I feel bad about is just that we're not trying out more people. I want to take my fucking weekly schedule and put more hours into doing streaming content we're trying out people for the first time and putting more people on camera if anything and that's and, and if you're putting more people on camera you're kind of like expecting that you're going to do lower numbers to start right that's just kind of like expected and that you have and to do everybody what you not gonna stick yeah and everybody doesn't work with, with with the person that's next to them like they could do low views one day and then the next week be with a whole different dynamic of people on camera and they could fucking explode yeah we're we're high up on a lot of people's list because of the fact that we just Try mad shit. The and cream will rise works, to the top. You know? yeah. and, and look, I'll go on record and say this. Just speaking for myself, on this platform or on any of those other platforms that's mentioned, there's not a single person on any of those pods that I can't have a conversation with on some hip hop shit that will know. There's not anyone in any of those platforms that knows more than me. There might be people that we have equal levels of knowledge and in more specified to different aspects of the culture, but there's nobody that knows this Joe culture. Budden's doing an evil laugh right now. <laughs> and Joe, and Lush thinks he can step check foot this in out. my arena. Check this out. Joe knows me and knows that's not the case, mm. like 1,000%. And he might I'll put you on a Patreon episode real quick. I Joe think, knows that's Shout to my dog, Joe. I think you should be higher on that list for this one alone because, like, it's people who watch this shit just for Adam. It's people who watch this shit just for AD. It's people who watch this shit just for Lutch. It's people who watch just for me. No of them other podcasts has some shit where the, the, the original main protagonist from the podcast can completely be absent of camera and still get millions of views. And, and let's be real, though, too. That's a this, good point. This is Jim Jones's personal opinion. Because yeah. if it wasn't his... Like, it appears that he doesn't really care for academics or Vlad, maybe, because they're not on here. So it's like, to me, that is... He's saying the shit that he likes. If yeah, we compare with. numbers, then it's always going to be top five, at least, for sure. Do we need to take him to pause court for hottest podcast? That's a little pause. You'll pause, yeah. B. I feel like in so, rap, you have a, a pass to say the shit is hot and say that dudes is hot. Like in the in a rapping sense, yeah, you know that's like we do that a lot. Like like a lot of people like like regular ass white people would hear me say something like "little baby" the hottest in the game right now, and they'd be like, "What? Like that's gay? How are you gonna call a dude hot?" Okay, so he's innocent. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a court for a reason. I guess if it's New York but, terms, but like that's the, a pause moment. But but the thing is, like, to have a platform with an AD and a suspect on it, who were both people that everyone in LA was already listening to before mm -hmm. this. So, you know what I mean? Like T-Rail with all the shit that he's been involved with. Duno, literally one of the most popping Latino comics in the city, in LA right now. Like, th like there's, everyone knew who Gina was like, if you was part of the LA rap scene previous to this. Like everybody- Everybody has star power before they came. What yeah. other podcast, these niggas got made because of the podcast. Everybody who came here already has shit going before they ever stepped foot on this camera. And that's what I was thinking too when I was watching the, uh, the vlog from the Christmas party is that with very few exceptions, it's like the team has grown a shitload and not lost anybody since the Christmas party last year, which is pretty crazy. Just cause it's like, we had a lot of years where shit didn't work out with people, you know, and this is definitely a year where we just brought on a bunch of new people in the office, a bunch of new hosts. We didn't grow at like some insane pace or, or anything, but definitely put a lot more people on camera. If you look at those two office parties side by side, it's like, oh, damn. And then you look at the fact that we never had a Christmas party <laughs> before that. And if we had, it would have been like three people at, in certain years. Like 2016, it would have been me, House Phone, and Robesman. Well, and it's like at this same platform where you got People like Blasey, Yuri, House Phone, uh, Suspect, who are way younger, you know what I'm saying, the same platform that, like, me and you and T-Rail. So it's like we're covering 15 years of demographics right, right there. And I'm going to say this, too, is that... We're the most versatile. Not oh. everybody, but a lot of people on that list have corporate partnerships. Mm -hmm, that's true. Mm -hmm. I was a motherfucker with a bike shop in Skid Row, and I don't often toot my own horn like this or acknowledge how improbable the series of events that led me here are, but I had a bike shop in Skid Row because all I could afford was like 1500 bucks a month, and then 
through literally like YouTube ad money, which realistically like very few people are able to build businesses off because it's not fucking consistent or great. And then like literally donations from the fans and shit because that was like the number one thing that we were making money doing all throughout 2017, 2018, whatever. So, I mean, just the fact that we even have gotten to the point of having a bunch of hosts and a bunch of different shows and still doing interviews and having other people do interviews, like comparing this shit to like 2016 or 2017, No Jumper, I mean, you might miss some of the, the artists that we had on then and everything, but the amount of content and how much different shit we got going on is pretty like unreal, just how much That's shit has grown, bro. You couldn't watch No Jumper every day in 2016. You would go yeah. watch the same thing about three oh, yeah. times until some new When I look at that came. shit, I felt like I was going crazy when I was dropping two interviews in a week, three interviews in a week, because yeah. that was a lot of fucking work when I was doing every single bit of making the thumbnail and editing it and lining up the audio with the video because the shit was out of whack and everything. I mean, you know. So there would be no New Jumper without No Jumper. You feel me? Like, the history... All the work that you put in, none of this shit would be here if it wasn't for that. But now that we're here, we got to take that bitch to the next level. Fuck and it. he started you know? from the trenches, nigga. Nigga was poor when he started. A lot of them motherfuckers was rich when they started their podcast. Let's keep it a buck. Nigga, like the first the first four was already rich well, <laughs> before they even started doing podcasts. Well, you know, Drake know Champs was, was with Revolt. I wouldn't say Gillian and Wilder Yeah, Gillian and Wilder were not rich. But they she partnered up rich, with Barstool they early money, on. Bro. They, had the, they had the network. But they, but they would still help. help. I don't think niggas have handicaps. But, 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 niggas have handicaps and money. I think they did start it before Barstool they did. came in. Yeah, though, right? before, yeah. before, before Barstool, they were they, thugging hard. And I don't start. look down on nobody who finds a corporate partner and that allows them to blow up faster because that's just smart for a lot of people. I'm, and I don't look down on that at all. I'm just acknowledging that, you know, we, we kind of made it and on then a somebody way. like Somebody like Million Dollars Worth of Game. They were doing podcasts when podcasts wasn't cool. Fact. I look at shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I think it was a little easier for him because nigga Gilly the Kid was already famous. Why wouldn't you want to go? What there? year did they start? The were they really already, doing it that early? Nigga Gilly no, the they Kid was doing it. They weren't doing it before it was cool. So it's different. Fact was doing brand. I mean, when I start watching them, I didn't know too much about podcasts they like that. Like 2019. But but 2019, it, 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 it yeah, wasn't it wasn't them starting a podcast. It was just Gilly being such an engaging personality, being hilarious. Anytime he was on camera, he was talking shit, and people thought it but was I, funny. But I feel like for somebody you like them me? coming from street backgrounds, it wasn't cool for them to do this podcasts. Right. Because right. when I first uh, was about to join No Jumper, everybody told me, like, what the fuck are you doing a podcast But for by that? the time now, you got to every 2019... Every now wants to do a podcast. But let, let's be real. By the time you got to, like, 2019, if you, like, weren't aware of the fact that podcasts were becoming a big deal, you're pretty fucking out of the loop. Because that, by 2019, like, I mean, think about The Breakfast Club. Think about Vlad. Think about Ag Me. Like, there's already, like, plenty of evidence now. But you're not, but, you're but not there talking are a lot of people like, from the streets, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, that, Like, they, people from the streets, they're like, ah, oh, we don't want to talk about somebody every day. Yeah. So it's like, who who other than Gillian Wallow was from the streets and started a podcast? And you, you feel me? Like, Who? I fuck with Gilly and Walla. You know, you know what I, I like about the fact that now everybody wants to do a podcast? And I feel like there's more people wanting to start a podcast at this point for the first time ever. There's something that's replaced Rapping. people wanting to be rappers. Exactly. So and It's almost even God. more unlikely to be successful but, at but, podcasts. And here's the good <laughs> thing about it. We're going to start seeing a significant drop in all the whack fools that have never really cared about doing this shit. That they're going to run out of money. Yeah, they're not going to want that's it. Like, they're but not there's gonna, still they're a not new gonna, one being propped up by a corporation but every I'm couple saying, weeks. They're not gonna, but they're not going to be able to... <coughs> people are not going to want to try to be rappers as much anymore. So the people that are actually passionate about it are going to get and the that's, light. And that's more. like streaming. Like yep. A lot of street guys didn't stream, and then you got somebody like T Grizzly made it fun, you know what I'm saying, and made it to where more people like, oh... I could sit there and do this over here and, and play video video games and get paid. So it's like, even what we're doing right now, the average person coming up now may look at that and be like, okay, they look just like me. You feel me? They come from where I come from. It's cool to sit there and do that. We don't have to go the rapping route or playing basketball route. It's a whole new lane that pops up. Think, a lot of, a think about the pop. fact that th this type of content didn't even exist until, you know, five, six, however many years ago. And all the people at home watching this would have probably been sitting there listening to rap music if it wasn't for them watching this shit. And so I, I can't help but feel like that has a big thing to do with the fact, like, I don't have that many friends who are like, genuinely excited about rap music right now. Like, I feel like that's a very common sentiment 
like when we did that stream the other day and we all kind of went back and forth and showed each other rappers that was the first time in a while that i did that with the homies like mm. it's just not like that crazy pace of like new shit coming out at this point my homies are rap nerds so like there's definitely but i know that that's a super that's a small niche niche mm. concentrated demographic you i know was thinking I mean? that with your dad too when your dad was talking about how he went through a mozzie phase and how he's listening to bris so much and stuff i'm like damn i wonder if i'm gonna be his age like still hyped on like finding new artists i like and stuff because i still do time but... though because like when i was in middle school he couldn't stand none mm. of that shit that i was listening to but i think he just got to a point where he was like look like just because like he said earlier just because i'm not ho holding it to the standards of me and my peers doesn't mean it's not good but the you can say somebody like mozzie though does is, is yeah. reminiscent of for the sure. old school it's you know easy for me to understand why he fucks with mozzie but, but, sure. but he and, definitely fucked with free Brits. mozzie he, he put me on brits but the thing is this if you're if you're a real hip hop head, like if you really love hip hop, you're gonna continue to try to seek out new artists, That's new flavors. If you don't, you're just nostalgic to a particular era and you're mislabeling yourself as a hip hop head. Like all these old heads that are like, yo, I'm a real hip hop head. I love the 90s. Like, no. You love the 90s. You're a 90s head. If, yeah, exactly. You're a 90s head. If you really love hip hop, you'd be trying to like listen to some Playboy Cardi. Exactly. Facts. And understand it. Exactly. And even if you don't, there are new artists from this era that, that are making that. But there's fine. two different types of hip hop heads. There's people who just genuinely like listening to rap music and maybe they just have a genre or a specific period of time. Maybe they listen to Gucci Mane from 2007 to 2011 and that's it. But then you also have people who constantly want to be like understanding the culture of rap and stuff. And I definitely fit into that box. But in terms of like really caring about listening to new rappers, I'm definitely probably at an all-time low. I mean, the discovery for new rappers is way different because we used to go to blogs to find out new rappers. Mm. I know me personally, I used to go to Hot New Hip Hop. Right. Wherever I would see mm. on there in them dad piff, that's where I would click and I would give somebody a chance. It's like, now if you want to listen to a new artist, how are you even going to hear it? That was a great it's, era of discovery. I ain't going to lie. I find new artists every week in this house. Nigga, I go to my likes on SoundCloud, I go to related tracks, and I'm going to sit there for two hours and go through the motherfuckers who I find out, and then, nigga, within an hour or so, I got a whole new playlist. It's literally like your algorithm, yeah, your that, YouTube that's what algorithm. I do. You go SoundCloud, SoundCloud related tracks, and it'll put up all the tracks that's like the song See, but you that go, you pressed it from. But, but that's what but I is do. Is this with your music? Or nah, is it just people you listen to? anything of what I listen to. I go to TikTok. Like, like now when I just want to like look at some new and you shit. you hear a song? I scroll through TikTok. OG Suicide. Oh, that's Suicide. And I just see random shit. But now my TikTok has figured out that I love watching like fucking straight criminal shit. So now they'll show me like a three minute fucking fight standoff or a fucking standoff with the cops pointing guns at somebody and shit. So now I'm just seeing that shit nonstop on there. But, but also the thing is this. Oh, how a lot of people find out about new artists... It's platforms like No Jumper. The interviews we're doing is putting up a lot of people. So now that we're on the other, like the shoes on and the other foot, and we're essentially in the role of being the tastemakers, you're right. It's gonna like us. That's exactly wanting... why I brought 500 racks in here, Lewis, you nasty. Like you feel me? I'm trying to be the one because you know Adam busy as a motherfucker. I'm trying to be the one that's gonna bring in the new LA motherfuckers that's up and coming and deserve a light. Like that's what that's what motherfuckers watch this shit for. Like I want to find some new artists, go I on No Jumper like and watch the interviews. That's the essence of No Jumper. Facts. I'm trying you know to be It was a lot of. You know what I'm saying? They weren't as big yet, SoundCloud rappers, mm -hmm. and then they got their first interviews here, and then by the time they blew the fuck up, right. it made the brand you can look go even back better. You can and go why. back. And that's so why when I see right. people like criticizing, like, oh, look at this interview Adam did that has 20,000 views, it's like, I really don't give a fuck at all. Like, I did that interview knowing it wasn't going to get that many views because I think it might pay off in the long run because I think that person has talent because that Facts. worked for me so many you fucking so times. You were didn't to. But I interviewed fucking <laughs> X when he was basically nobody and it ended up being the best thing that I ever did in my whole life probably besides just starting this in general was interviewing that motherfucker. So it's like, for me, to give a fucking Lambo foe a fucking shot when he's real early in his career is like, that's an easy choice for me to take an hour out my day and do that and and when he blows up people are going to go back and that interview is going to get they're gonna him. Say, this is the million. first interview Facts. that he ever did and this is the guy that took a chance on me and then that just brings more validation to your shit yeah and if you don't i'll spend an hour yeah i'll yeah, be all right who cares you'll be, <laughs> I'll be all, right. all right you still get paid yeah you'll be all right but no there, there's so many times where any time back in the day if there was a new artist that was that was like I started listening to on SoundCloud. I go to No Jumper, and sure enough, there'd be already a No Jumper interview. I just want to know how many people are gonna strap in for a four-hour interview with us and his pops. 
Four hours is so four crazy, hours, bro. A lot of people. If it's like, four, if four hours are interesting to you, I guarantee it's, it's gonna be interesting super to a lot interesting, of people, bro. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. But I think the clips are gonna go crazy. Mm, there's so facts. many. There's like literally potentially 15 clips. I knew more. once Adam wasn't pulling out his phone every five minutes that we would <laughs> yeah, didn't, didn't have to ask somewhere. no questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a tight dude. Yeah, it was off the chain. I, I just got the so email so. from Boston. Oh, with the timestamps. Mm -hmm. go oh, poor Bossa had to do the timestamps. Wow. I got to buy work in for me tonight. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, what else I got here on the uh, topic list? Um, but yeah, you ruined rap music by making a podcast. Good job, thanks. Yeah. Uh, also, what I, I want to say is, nigga, I feel like it's easier for previous rappers to get motherfuckers to come to their shit oh, yeah. than a random bald head white dude who rides a bike. <laughs> You know of how course. much harder it had to be for him if you've been inserting in hip hop already? Of course, you're going to listen to the a rappers. giant you percentage of your success in podcasting is your pre, like your pre podcast fame, because a huge part of people watching your podcast is just them liking you. Fact. So as soon as I seen Nori coming in the game when I was like early on in the podcast game, I was like. Uh, okay, yeah, that's gonna be that's a, big, gonna work. a big fucking deal because people like Nori. I like Nori. Like, for me, it's easy to turn on a random Drink Champs episode and just assume it's gonna be entertaining because in my brain, ever since I was in high school, I was already like, I like Nori. Nori's a cool guy. I fuck with him, you know? So, like, you see that with Joe Rogan. Like, Joe Rogan had a bunch of fame going into the shit, and that really allowed him to become the biggest podcaster in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. It was the work, but the fact that he was already, like... Everybody early on. Oh, Facts. the guy from Fear Factor? The nigga from Fear yeah. Factor. I mean, everybody. That was just The everybody. nigga from UFC. Yeah, and that, too. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that just helped him become the biggest, like, to a crazy extent. What's the, what's the comedian's name? Mark Marin is that his name? Yeah, he's like, huge, yeah. too. Yeah, but so what's interesting about him was he was, like, a popping comedian, but not like that. He wasn't mm. on the, the Dave Chappelle level. He wasn't, like, Louis C.K. He never... He, he, he had like a couple little shows here and that, but he never had several specials and was running the game. He's like a journeyman comic who'd been doing it for several years. Then he launches his podcast. Boom. And then boom, now his comedy career, he can fucking headline a huge venue at this point. And he hates Joe Rogan. There Damn. you go. There you go. He's the anti-Joe Rogan. So it's like interesting. That's, that's kind of like similar like to... Those of us that have rap careers on this platform, mm -hmm. fools were popping, fools were doing their thing, might not be motherfucking Drake or Lil Uzi Vert, right. still did their thing, but now because of this, it, it, it spearheads everything else. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that was my worry for a little bit, like, damn, maybe that should have fucked your shit up, but I, cause I ain't gonna lie, in the city, like, that's unspoken, and AD can attest to this, that's unspoken that he had to deal with that shit for a long time, you don't know how many rooms I didn't been in, oh, or like, sure. you will hear his song come on in, mm -hmm. in the weed shop or something, and then the, the motherfucker behind the counter be like, don't that nigga do podcasts now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, when really, nigga, that's where the fucking money is at, you know NBA what I'm NBA Youngboy basically has a live right. podcast now. And now right. everybody want to do it. <laughs> Yo, if anything I've ever seen has convinced me that everybody's just going to have a podcast, it was Young Boy doing one. And I know that Amazon gave him five billion fucking dollars Man. to do it. But the fact that Young Boy can do that and be like literally the most popular rapper, I mean, all bets are off now. Man, there's For no real. limitations. People put their projections on you. Like, you don't know what somebody can do. You know Facts. what I'm saying? A lot of people are talented at all type of different shit. I look at Childish Gambino. Like, that nigga do stand-up comedy, uh, direct shows, be in the shows, be in movies. I seen nigga Spider-Man doing shit with How Star Wars. How am I Wars. less thin because I can do more you than can one do, thing? You can do everything. That just confuses me. They're going to say you stupid people, for trying and watch, once you succeed. When we put out genius. this No Jumper tape, which we need to fucking schedule and put it in the books, I got the porn convention next week, but after that, we need to go in. That tape is going to bridge the gap between facts, all the hosts and what they actually sound like rapping. Fire. I'm and I, I, and I am actually a Easy big... work. I'm a big suspect fan, so I feel like we need a bunch of suspect verses Easy on there, work. too. You, you know I'm on it. it. I will say, like... I think for, you two are the best rappers in the office. For, for sure, like... Sorry, um, Lush. Dang. I think I'm not... <laughs> no, I think you I might think be one of the most talented, for sure, but... But... Total package, I feel like these two... No, they're are, both... Are they're they're, yeah, they're yeah. both fucking... I love... I, I was fucking with both their AD got me with the famous-ass features. But <laughs> <laughs> we've been in the studio together though. But we we got I, we got records. I need y'all to we got make records for sure. five. I'm about to find them together. today too. Five. five records together on stream, and then we will do an official vote in the chat about who's the 
Titus, that's me. Lit us. Me and Suspect already got two bangers too. Yeah, we got some. We, we got some shit coming up. But um, I've been I, waiting for this motherfucking studio to open so I could live in that bitch. I, I, I think, be asking Josh like every week. For you, I feel like it was the riskiest. Yeah. Hopping in there podcasting because because you're so young. I'm young and then you feel we, me you feel like me, AD could kind of do the oh I ain't actively gang banging on the corner type mm-hmm. shit no more. It's like with me, it's like oh nigga, you just turned 25, you still supposed to be in the streets. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like nigga, what you want me to do? Man, but then if you still nobody. be in the streets and then when I go to jail, <laughs> his dumb ass should have podcasted and got out the streets. For sure, That's you real. can't never win, nigga. So do what the fuck make you. Don't happy. listen to nobody. Look at how people actually it. talk about people that we know when they get caught up for doing some crazy Thank crimes you. or whatever. Everybody talks about them. I'm like we all knew better, right? You know, Nick can't tell me nothing. But I'm, then I'm we all, my life, we man. also, how do we talk about people that we know who, who flocked houses for ten years and got away with it, and made millions of dollars? We talk about them like fucking geniuses, right? And then they get caught one time, and we're all like, no, nah, but this people, dumb motherfucker. People exactly. put their own fears on you, and and you know, what I'm saying where their ceiling is, mm-hmm. they're like, you can't do this, right? Like, no, nigga, nigga, yes, you, you can. can do well, okay, I can. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna succeed at this, and then what you gonna say then? Oh, I always knew you could do it. No, you did not think that. Fact, <laughs> nobody thought I could be a fucking podcaster besides the people here. I had, I had to go besides through the it. People here, no cap. I had to go through it. Well, the thing is, fact, if, he walked so I can run. <laughs> if, if you, um, if you're shattering people's preconceived notion, then they can't put you in a box. It's difficult for them to process, and then their instinct in that scenario is going to be to hate. Fact. Because they they don't understand it, they can't. Mm-hmm. They, their brain can't process oh, man, what's going on. Dude. You're a rapper. Why are you doing this? Right. What, how am I seeing you outside of this context? You're showing vulnerability. You're talking about your family. You're talking about like, oh, I was late for work because I fucking hit a pothole. Oh, that's not a rapper right there. And then I you know hate how I mean? niggas try to take away from niggas gangster because niggas is on camera. You think I won't punch you up because I be up here podcasting with the white men and shit? Tax we'll stone. still fuck you up. Hey, Tax Stone fighting a murder for five years. We will hey, still or wait, fuck wait you up. to fight hey, a murder for five years. Tax. Everybody's going to say something. will still fuck you These up. These things overlap. Do it. <laughs> Gangsters and podcasters clearly but overlap at this point. I live with what Hov say. I will not lose. You right. feel me? You do rapping, you could be good at rapping. You could be right. good at podcasting. Now we're doing streaming. You feel me? I'm evolving and there's, with and the there's time, other. Nigga. Uh, avenues that niggas and what hopping in say, and niggas what, gonna succeed at all of them. And what did Hope God say? my witness. <laughs> what did Hope say in that exact same song? And if somebody would have told him that Hope would sell clothing, come not on, not bro. Right I'm glad line. you said that. All the richest motherfucking rappers are not rich off rap. Mm. They're rich off doing other shit. The niggas that turned into billionaires and real moguls, nigga, Sean Diddy Combs not rich off rap, nigga. Jay-Z not rich off rap, nigga. Niggas got rich. I'm talking so about other like shit. real billionaire status, multi-millionaire status. It's all from shit outside of rap. So suck my dick if I'm doing something other like, than like rap. At, at that point, to put it in perspective, you. when Jay-Z made that song, You Don't Know, in 2001, and he's talking about this you is, don't know. Yeah, you feel me? I sure will I not do. Lose. He's talking about having a hundred million dollars off of essentially rapping and doing rock aware, and now he's literally twenty and times I, richer than. And that. imagine, imagine if somebody Jay Z said back then, "I'm gonna be a billionaire one day." They'd be like, "Nigga, ain't no way you're gonna become a billionaire." He, he, he couldn't, well, even, couldn't that. even fathom. That's that. on the blueprint, right? Oh, yeah, you right. gotta yeah. believe in the impossible sometimes, nigga. That's 2001. No niggas, That's, if, if niggas would have told me a year ago that I would have been a, a great podcast, I would have been like, man, shut your weird ass up. That's cash. And all Shut the up, kids Blasey out there for giving us those shirts too. Oh yeah, That's the fact. All the kids out there, you got a dream. Don't listen to nobody. Make that shit shake. Fuck, fuck whoever talking. And it's crazy, right? It's possible. I just went to go speak at um, Autobahn to the kids in middle school with JP Cali Smooth a couple uh, months ago. Shout right? to my dog JP. And when I went up there, bro, and I asked the kids what they wanted to be, 90% of them all said YouTubers. Mm-hmm. That's and what they yeah, say. They, want. they got big ass studies of kids all over the country that they, they say that shit. YouTubers. And like Mr. Beast is like their fucking number one most known celebrity and mm. shit. Like way more than anybody crazy. who's on TV or anything. Because I, I don't even know what his voice sounds like. That's you crazy. know Mr. Beast? I know who that is, but I can't like, oh. like how I can he hear your name and hear a voice in my Head. He's having one it. of them arcs. New video. <laughs> Who's Mr. Beast? Yo, Mr. Beast, uh, his new video, he went to Antarctica for 50 hours. Mm. And you know that you're not even allowed to pee in the snow there? What? You have to pee in a container and then fucking bring it with oh, you. Oh, because it's going to change the ecosystem potentially? I guess the shit, man. Yeah. Sensitive. Just your one piss. Yeah, I could. I do not want to go to Antarctica. I watched that shit. I'm like, I'm not going. Wasn't Will Smith too many just rules. there, too? He just went there. <laughs> too many yeah. rules. Huh? No, they're just, rules. They're just... Don't, <laughs> don't pee. <laughs> like Stay warm. Rule. <laughs> <laughs> too many, many rules. rules. No, but they're just standing there, and then it becomes like a fucking blizzard, which, of course, because it just takes a little bit of wind when you're co- hey, co- surrounded and, by and, snow. And prayers go out to the people in Buffalo, man. 
with the storm. Uh, they said what? Just just 29 dying. people lost their life or something 29? like that? 29? Something like that. What yeah. the fuck? I read the uh, story about the, the, the young woman who was leaving work. And she got trapped, and they found her 18 hours later. That's and she recorded sad. like her last moments, Man, and that, that, that shit, shit was so sad. sad. As what? Fuck. And all I can think about is her leaving a fucking job of her not being able to move. Like she's in her car, and it's like ice all outside that motherfucker. And they said that was her last video. 18 hours later, they found her. Mm. That's wow, sad as fuck. That is terrible. The people tried to go get her, and they got snowed in. That's what fucked up. Fuck? Flights are not going to the East Coast a lot. Of, like, there's a lot of flights that are shut down. My homegirl was supposed to fly back to New York, and she's stuck in Colorado mm. for four days now. That's crazy. Damn. Maybe I'll drive to the point. And we're on the West Coast. We don't know nothing about where, this. Where, where, I didn't unless see it's Big snow. Bear. Man. I didn't see no right, snow. Yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> I never seen snow until I went to Denver. Oh, yeah, Denver Once I went snow. to Corral, uh, Colorado was the you first time I was seen snow. Nah. That was way before she was even in That's where she almost got me. She got a store there now. Mm. You should pull I was up. just out there for a show. Go do a brand deal. Yeah. She should fuck the, the dude from Swamp Stories. Oh, I'm super Bang. into that idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what about the best thing ever that might have been forgotten to history is when she told the story about how basically she uh, stole mad money from G Herbo. I, I remember that. And so G Herbo came to her crib and told her he was going to kill her dog. <laughs> and she didn't fucking give the shit back. She said he pointed a gun through the window at the, at the dog. <laughs> I well, feel she, that. didn't she say like it, it started? She got like she stole it because she was mad that he like fucking like fucked her throat or some shit, and then listen, I don't yeah, know. that bitch is a nut. Sounds to Selena. Can you hear that rain? Leave her alone, cause she's gonna wait. Damn, that's rain. Yeah. You hear that rain, bro? It's gonna be Fuck. raining like all week. Hopefully, this shit don't flood again. I hate when mother. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I hate when motherfuckers shit. act like it don't rain out here. Hey, at least the cricket's dead. It, it definitely rains, but it rains hard. But it it's just different from being East Coast. East Coast rain and West Coast rain. No, it doesn't <laughs> fucking rain out here, but not. It, it's it's not did I say rain? I meant it gets cold. It getting cold as fuck. There's nights where I go outside to smoke. Rare. Bro, it's cold 30 like, degrees. I think cold been, the, I don't hit 30. Bro, it was no. 30 yeah, the it other has, day. It hits like 40, low 50s. Nigga. It might have been 35. It was low. Bank 4 in the morning, like three weeks ago on my mama, it was 41, 39 degrees. 41 for sure, bro. I went out to my car, 30. my car's covered in ice. Oh, it's gotta mama. be below freezing. It was <laughs> at least for a little bro. bit. It was 39 degrees one of them days. I'm working out out there, it's sure. ice. At four on in the morning, the fucking I believe that. But on a regular day, <laughs> and it may be cool on the east coast, <laughs> but the other side of town. It never rains in Southern California. See you uh, when I get there. Let me bring this up. <laughs> Jeez, let's, let's give Suspect a chance to be impartial. A, a, a great narrative that I saw unfolding over the holidays was Blueface's mom sending out a message to Krishan telling her to hold her head because Blue... I mean, this motherfucker just knows how to go viral. He just knows how to get us talking because he had matching pajamas on with his baby mama posted up with the kid, which you you got to go see your kid on, on Christmas for sure. 100%. But you don't got to take a picture with your baby mama if you're seeing somebody else and you don't got to wear matching pajamas cuddled up for the right. May God, what is he doing? May God I think Blueface is smart, bro. He, he did it for that, the kids. I think that he really loved his baby mama. I think he liked the Krishan bitch too. But I think he sees the power and the star power of Krishan. And it's, 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 it's prolonging the inevitable of his career being in the shit. So I think he sees her and he's latching on to her. He's smart as a motherfucker. I think he really like her though. But I think he sees how she She's still keeping him relevant, but he really loves his baby mama. No disrespect. His baby mom looked like Stewie from Family Guy. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Damn. <laughs> like, for real. Like, look at her. Like, it's no, uncanny. I know. I know. But, damn. I think he's smart. I think he know where home really at. Because he always finds his way back over there. This is my thing, though. Is We have seen Krishan do brutal things to him in response to like pretty minor aggressions, right? So I just feel like her response to this has to be some large scale Volcanic. nuclear attack style shit. You gotta get away from her. But that toxic shit, we how many people do we know in serious toxic relationships just like that? And Not as bad. I, bad I don't as know as almost always, anybody as bad it as that. In I know, in I know people bad. I knew like people that. worse. I know people were show for show. I'm gonna be real. Somebody came to my my par a party I had one time back in the day, and we were all doing hella coke and everything. And, and and he ends up beating the dog shit out of his girl after I went to sleep. And people told me about it. I never fucked with him again. Not I never cool. I never even wanted to be around him after that. Nah. And like, I, but then I realized that like a lot of people that's kind of normal. Look, 
I'll say this though. And him doing it in my Airbnb hit a little different than if he was doing it in his own home. Of course, I mean real. that just if that's happening in your Airbnb, imagine what's happening behind closed doors. Yeah. That's like not, definitely not a good sign. You can't get it together for one night when mm-hmm. you're with other people. Fact. But I mean, Blueface, like he said, is not stupid. At all. He knows what he's doing. There's obviously a method to the madness. Whether or not Krishan is aware, was aware of this beforehand, mm-hmm. was aware of the mom making that uh, Insta story or not, Blueface is in total control of the situation. I have faith in that. I don't know. Not. I don't know what terms he's on with his mom right now. It but used to be bad. Yeah, I know. I don't know where it's at right now, but I don't want my mom coaching my girl on her Instagram story and giving her advice about how to deal with me. You know, I think like, that was just a shot towards stay him. Stay out of it. But but was it really advice about how to deal with him, or more so a shot. H- how to how to deal with the public? It was kind of like, look, everyone's gonna look at this as crazy, but he he still loves you. Just yeah. thug it out. Because she was giving her the advice of like, don't try to stop a man from being a father, which right. is really good advice for sure. Because in her situation, like if she wants to be with Blueface long term, it's not gonna work unless kids, you allow him to have a healthy relationship kids with his kids. Come first. But matching pajamas and cuddling up on the couch is different. Well, what the, he needs to do, right. Blue, Blueface is on his way, but he's not quite at the Derrick Rose level, right? That was dope. D Rose. I don't know who the hell that is. D Rose. I know a little pump guy. Song basketball D-Rose, player. Right? D Rose. Well, that's a different D Rose he's talking about. I'm really? Just, or maybe it's not. But both uh, them bitches bad. D Rose. D Rose. D Rose. D Rose. Yeah. Both them bitches. So, so Derek. D- so D Rose has his baby mama and his, wife. Two, and his wife in matching pajamas with him. Go all together. That's some polygamous shit. I, I got nothing but respect for you if you could pull that off. Facts. That's, you can have both your baby mamas in the room in matching outfits. You doing your thing. That's I feel like a king. Church of Latter Day Saints type. I could do. Room. I could do that with my first baby mama, and my girl. No, after a second. Mm. Cause you was dibbling and dabbling in both pools. No. <laughs> he ain't speaking on it. He I ain't speaking on it. I seen you posted a nice picture. <laughs> you and you and uh, 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 it was nice seeing our Mexi under the under that the was, tree. That was last year. That was. That, yeah. that was an old photo. That yeah, was an old. You couldn't one. take a new one. I took a new one. I just didn't post it. Why are you, what, you just posting throwbacks for no reason? You fooled me. I thought that was this year. No, I was thinking year. his hair looks weird. I think you're referring to <laughs> what the Reddit posted. No, on his fucking page. You posted him on the story. story. No, on, on the page. No. You didn't post one this year? Did she? Yeah, she posted it. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe there I saw that. Oh. Following my bitch. Did she? I do. Did she, <laughs> did, I'm a big fan. Did she, uh, did she post that this year? No, no, that was this year, the new one. That she posted. Oh, no, I understand. I put, the, I put last year's on my story. You're being very confusing. Okay. With the way you're But now I question. understand. Now I understand. There very was a new confusing. photo. I choose to... I'm, I'm really into Lexi Lore. It was a new photo Lore. of him, but it just wasn't on his shit. I run a fan account called Lexi Lore. Damn. It's just all the Lexi Lore. Damn. It sucks that now someone is going to make that account, and they're going to act like I started it. Lexi Lore <laughs> sounds like an antidepressant. Well, facts. She might want to get on that. Day in this guy. Sounds like a bad hotel. (laughs) Day in this guy, she might need a... Side side effects include itchy urine. Sound like a time traveler drug. He left me hanging. Oh, ski fingers. Suicidal thoughts, itchy urine, and... (laughs) (laughs) The different side effects. If you ever took Lexilor, you're a... a, What do you say? You get a fucking... Ask for a consultation from your doctor now. Damn, I miss TV. Lexilor is not responsible for any. We've lost so much. Don't you ever outburst? You ever just want, like beat off to a girl's gone wild commercial, like missing the old days? Whoa. Where do you see it? You do? No, you, yeah, go search it up. No, I, nah, I, but I, I, I go online. Back, back in the day, when them bitches used to come on, bro, I was in like third grade. You know what I'm saying? Comedy Central, After Dark, Channel 67. If you had cable, nigga, he know. If you he know. If, if you was watching Adult Swim or Comedy Central, once it hit like 3:30. 325, it'll come on. How I knew, because I went to sleep one night, nigga, watch a few trauma, woke up with titties on the screen. I had to get up, close the door. I'm like, oh, shit, it's crack. <laughs> Grab the Jergens. <laughs> no cap. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. That was before I even knew about beating my shit. I ain't gonna lie. This might be TMI. <laughs> Just get hard. This might be TMI. <laughs> Just get hard and look hey, at it. This might be TMI. First time I beat my, I, I, I beat my dick, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't use no lotion. I don't use lotion. I, Whoa. Yeah. I, I definitely, the first time I beat it, I was in like fifth grade. I nigga. beat it dry. I seen it in like a movie. I go raw. I think it was American <laughs> Pie. Yeah, you got a you got raw. I seen a nigga beating no. his dick in American Pie, and I was like, I'm going to try that. Hey, you're the I only person the using lotion, lotion at this at the I didn't podcast. get the lotion part. You niggas be beating off with no lotion? I go raw. raw. 
Rod of the floor around like reservoir swole dogs. Dick? That's wild. He's his swole. But even, that's wild. I'm not going to lie. Shit looked like a hoodie after I beat my A few shit. months ago, <laughs> I, I, beat, I, I don't know if I just beat off too many times, but I, I got a little, a little abrasion. Mm, and if I had happen. been using lotion, that probably wouldn't have happened. Facts. Happen. No, nigga, my shit was swollen. You gotta like, sometimes it was I think three it's the, times as It's the bitches make too, it, though, because they be using like their me teeth the too 3X. much. They be giving you the craziest head, but then they like end up clamping their teeth down when it gets too deep. Nah. Mm. So sometimes I, I blame them. That's out. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, I seen it on American Pie. No cap. When I tried it, 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 it American it Pie, he fucked the apple pie. Wait, you, hey, you fucked I, the pie? No, I seen a nigga. <laughs> do you remember when his dad walked in when he was beating Oh, he had dick? a sock. Yeah. You know Yuri fucked the orange? That. That's a Fifi. You know, I tried hey, that. You know Yuri fucked the orange? I had those buzzing in jail, nigga, with the little plastic gloves. I'm going to say it. Plastic the glove. <laughs> yes, Yuri <laughs> fucked an orange. We know. Hey, no cap, nigga. In jail, you get your little plastic glove. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, niggas knew I'll have my plastic glove. A Fifi. I'll do the head call. We talked about Fifi's right Right to the lotion. Put the lotion in the plastic glove, nigga. Put it in the sock. But they just got mad lotion in jail. They got a free free lotion? Yeah. I'm going to get locked up. That's fire. lotion packets. Lotion packets. Sus Gerb knows about the Fifi. Say, Leonard, we're out of lotion. lotion packets. Go ahead. Go get locked up. You put it in the mattress. You put it underneath the mattress. I'll just go do arm robberies until I get locked up so I can get a free lotion. Hey, niggas had super Fifi's too. Like a nigga would take the rubber band from the glove and like wrap it around the sock and put it in the sock, nigga, and like get some warm water, nigga. And put it outside of the glove, but in between the socks, so it's like warm Suspect. and it's lotion busting. Do you know? Wild. You know Yuri That's is? a Latina Fifi. It right was there. Wild. You know Yuri is? Jail was crazy. Yeah, I fuck with Yuri. You, you know he fucked an orange. That's wild. <laughs> the citrus seems Fucking, like it would get in your dick hole bro, and that would burn. Bro, the citrus in your he, dick he hole. He had Fucking no complaints. Fruit, burn your dick. I think Fucking it, fruit. I think crazy. he, he oh, bore no. out a nice hole so that when he got it on there, his penis head was all like that's a pretty it made a clean small pass. thing to fuck. Like I'm tearing an orange. There's up. huge oranges. He was hitting the cutie. Oh, okay. I've seen oranges drink the fuck. Only my tip fitting in the orange, gang. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm, I'm fucking and up an orange. Fucking Yo, fruit you, you, is wild. Well, you cut the whole way. That's crazy. That sounds like it would really hurt. Fucking fruit is not okay. It sounds like I, <laughs> I could get an abrasion on my dick from the orange. You Bro, different. You, fucking dog, fruit is not imagine okay. Imagine okay. if you have an abrasion on your dick and the orange. Oh hell! The citrus gets in the dick abrasion. Oh my! The, the, what if the orange? Great point. What if the orange gave you syphilis? <laughs> There's what bad oranges happen? out there. <laughs> no, it gives you hepatitis vitamin C. <laughs> bars. Oh, my God. Bars. Get them out of here. Let's go. That's bars. Out of here, Don't play with bro. me. Get them out of here. Hey, but t- t- speaking of Girls Gone Wild, how sad did that fool go out that was the he, guy that... I just seen a documentary on that. that Wait, where's, where's that on? Yet. Bro, oh, it's all over YouTube. Oh, this, really? That nigga's this, a this creep. Is, he has yeah. hella sexual... <laughs> I seen a whole documentary on that shit, like a 30-minute one on YouTube last week. Well, I, I, I could have seen the whole... <laughs> the whole that show can Girls Gone Wild couldn't exist nowadays Illuminati because of, of consent Hell laws no. they're yeah. basically like getting random girls drunk they're drunk hoping they're yeah. underage he's right and putting their tits and it's you, a podcaster named Illuminati I mean hoping they're not underage and she made a whole video about it no yeah. but did you see mm-hmm. like did you see what happened to this fool so back in the day when his empire was crumbling a father of one of the girls that had been on his show broke into his house hemmed him up Tied him up, fucking started like doing fucked up shit to his butthole. What? Sodomized his. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Doing fucked up shit to his butthole. Broomstick. And put him on camera and be like, and had him say like, "I'm a little bitch," da 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 da, because like, and he's like, "Yeah, that's what you get for fucking with my daughter." Da 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 da. He had fuck? hella minors on camera and yeah. some that that he yeah. knew. He knew they were minors. Because of course, even if they, all those chicks are out there with fake IDs even on if vacation. Even if they're not minors, they're fucking nineteen. And like, they they're yeah. five beers deep and they have yeah. no fucking clue what they're doing. And they're gonna try to become a fucking lawyer four or five years later. And then they're gonna have to figure out how to get this video taken down. Whatever. You can just imagine how many enemies he made through doing that. No, but it's so, pretty so inevitable, the, really. So minus the even bu- if he wasn't. And that was creep. before it was cool to be a hoe on Instagram. Well, minus True. he was probably ruining his lives. Point. Yeah. If you take if you take away the butthole abuse. Is that a W for that father to run in there like and do that? He, he got his get back. To me, I probably would have just, nigga butthole. I would have just beat him up. I'm not, I'm not fucking butthole someone's up. butthole as an act of revenge. Yeah, nah. no, there's, that's an act of love. That's there's, gay. There, there's no, I'm not with. The, that's gay. That's gay. No yeah. male. Butt you like play. that shit? We're not doing male. Butt. I ain't been in prison, so I never had to learn how to speak that love language. But I ain't doing that. Another one too. <laughs> butt love is my love language. Watch a if you're a good documentary. Anal revenge. Watch Gringo about John McAfee. I identify as a Gringo. 
You fucking you, you did you watch it. that shit? I didn't see it. Gringo like, was crazy. Netflix always trying to get What's, me to watch it. Is that where white dude that, goes to a Mexican jail? No. Please this, watch alone so we can talk about it on here. We're watching next week. I watched season one but, and the new season. But Gringo, is, you, you ever heard of McAfee antivirus software? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the guy who made that. Bro, tell me why that guy follows me on Twitter and fucking talked to me about doing an interview over stream right before he died. Nigga, nigga ran for president too. That shit was crazy. Yeah, much in the same way Kanye did. Y'all ever thought about doing movie reviews on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool. That's a cool. He didn't know. No, he no, no. He, no. he, he, ah. he threw a shot. He threw a shot. He I give him that. That was good. That was a good. That no, was good. He did not <laughs> know. He did not know. <laughs> that was a good. That was a good. That was a good. <laughs> Young oh, Miami Lord. is a side bitch and he did not know. Right. He just tried to flip the script because we laughed. I got to piss. All right, that was a good right one. Here. This was funny yeah. as fuck. All right, appreciate y'all. Sus Gerb killed it. Much love. Shout out to Lush hey, Gerb. No, Shout out Sus Gerb. Oh. Shout out Crip Gerb. <laughs> Shout out White Gerb. Actually, that's oh. White John, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, he'll let me borrow it for a little Shout bit. White John, man. Thank you to everybody who watched this. Head on over to NoJumper.com. Purchase some products. Head on over to Patreon.com slash NoJumper. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the streets. See you on the socials. Make those memes I asked for. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yuri fucks orange.